yeah, say whatever you want. Right. It's fine. I promise. Welcome, you. welcome, welcome, everyone, to Keeping Candles Mysterious. We are Lawful Stupid RPG, and we're thrilled to have you join us while we play some of the Candle Keep Mysteries module. My name is Buddy, and I'll be temporarily helming this adventure as our normal friendly neighborhood DM Ryan is on hiatus with his new baby. Let's see, we see who we have here, shall we? Tonight, we have Lee playing Carolus, the Yuan-Ti pureblood warlock of the genie. We have Amy playing Riala, the Asmar life cleric. Rodney playing Cesar, the human tempest cleric. Madeline playing, yeah, I told you, Rodney. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> Madeline playing Mina, the Aladrin hexblade warlock. Harry playing Redis, the human artificer, which I keep wanting to say sacrificer, but that's just not true. And yet. well, well, yeah. <laughs> and Nathan playing Bertram, the half orc paladin monk. How is everyone tonight? Excellent. Yay. Great. Yeah. Right here. I feel great. Since we're not actually in the library, I'm going to say that we can gather around the campfire, but don't tell anyone. Totally a secret. <laughs> well, I'll never know. <laughs> well, more importantly, I hope that Master Sage Tomris doesn't know. Um, so last week we met our characters who act as unofficial agents of Candlekeep, the largest repository of lore and writing in all the realms. They were summoned to the office of Master Sage Tomris to help evaluate a strange book from the collection that no one could open. As Carolus approached the book, the lock popped open and they discovered that trapped inside is Gazra Azam, a genie. He implored them to help him get free and promised the party a casting of the spell Wish as a reward. Gazri Azam was trapped in the book by a water genasi wizard named Zikrin. They were given custody of the book and allowed to leave Candlekeep with it. Before they left, smart though they were, because I did not anticipate this, they had a quick copy of the outside of the book made to possibly use as a ruse later. Uh, they began to travel south along the Sword Coast to try to find this hidden laboratory. They were ambushed by some bandits who quickly realized that they were in a little bit over their heads. Some died, some fled, and one was charged with changing his life by becoming an acolyte at Candlekeep, something I also did not see coming. Uh, our party has just set up camp for the night. As the sun sets, it turns the clouds into enormous brushstrokes of fiery oranges, decadent purples and deep reds, and the water of the Sea of Swords sparkles like a million gemstones strewn across the floor. The fact that you're on the edge of a cliff about 60 feet high makes the scene even more awe-inspiring. Well... Shall we take collection of the day's events and what's to come? Tomorrow, or is it the day after we reach the Spire? Yeah, so Gazrin, Gazrin told you it would be probably two nights and a day, which you flip around in your head to probably three days' journey to get there. Three days' journey. And already accosted on the first day. It's as though the whole world knows that we have a wish coming our way. Well, they might I, <clears throat> by now. Yeah. You got to stop yeah. saying that out loud. Yes, the strangers exactly. we just meet on the road. You just saying what out loud? The, 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 the wish part. Oh, the wish, yes. I'm looking yes. forward to it. No. No. Keep the wish part to yourself, maybe? Right, right. Really people thought will... about this. I will okay. put silence on you. Why not you call it a gift, eh? Just tell people we're gonna get a, just get a gift later. Yeah. Well, tells them nothing at all. It's none of their business. He can't. He can't shut up. We all know he can't shut up. We're gonna leave. True. Like, give him the false information. Yeah. I mean, this is this is truth on both sides of the issue right here. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going for a gift. Got it. If anyone asks why we're traveling, it's to get a gift. A gift yep. for a powerful wizard. Not a wish. That's that's that's. It's still How about better. We just tell them we're on business for the keep. And leave it yeah. Yeah. That he, one. He'll That's um good. write this down in his journal. Business for the keep, not wish related. <laughs> there we go. Nobody shall suspect the wiser. Yes. Would anybody care for 
hey, this chat is killing me. <laughs> oh. so just, just, just to um, let everyone know, we're in our pre-setup. Uh, Harry sits down and says, "Oh God, the, my chair just broke," and then he shows us the back. It, it actually is broken. So he's. He's dealing with some things tonight. He's channeling folks. clunk right now. <laughs> yeah, I have about as much aptitude in real life with this stuff <laughs> as I do in game. But okay, um, so would anybody care for some perfectly cooked bacon rashes that I've brought from Candlekeep? That sounds fantastic. Love some. Where did you get those? Where are you keeping it? <laughs> Probably best you don't know the answer to either of those, those questions, really. It's but best you, yeah. Did you raid the kitchens again? I'm an adventurer. I'm seeking sustenance for the road. And I'm sharing it with my friends. There's really nothing wrong with that, is there? Checks out. Yeah. Okay, clunk. I won't look a gift bacon in the in the face. I don't know how that saying is, but yes, bacon. <laughs> I'll take that as you want some bacon. So Clunk is going to prepare some expertly for us all. And then Clunk what? is by the fire. He's got his gauntlet off and affixed to the wrist is just a frying pan. Uh, that, um, that, that's amazing. I love that. I, I'm curious <laughs> where, where Clunk's refrigerator is. Or is that the part that we don't want to ask about? I just keep mm. casting gentle repose on the rashes. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Wait, is that the first level spell, right? So that would quite work. Oh, this lasts a long time, though, right? Like, it's days? like ten days, so yeah, okay. you wouldn't have to use it that often. Yeah. Do, you, do you do you have a a, 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 a d twenty inspiration right now? Uh, no. Take a d twenty inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so he's going to try and cook some bacon to a I tea, like, you know. I like the frying pan idea, but the, I was first in picturing just him just holding just a fistful <laughs> of bacon <laughs> over the fire. I kind of like that too, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Actually, um, I'll say he does that, but with he's in his palm is a, an egg that he's just going to <laughs> just let, let fry in his just hand. Just yeah. <laughs> so, uh, what would I roll to see how well he does this? <laughs> roll for um, bacon. Roll for bacon. Let, let's say, let's say, hmm. roll for. Let's do a survival because it's cooking. Survival cooking, yeah. Yeah, that, let's do a let's do a survival. That with my wisdom modifier or with clunks. I will allow you to to make that choice just because okay. I love the, this whole idea. So I'll do that. I think indefinitely with mine being. I think that clunks, clunks wisdom is like a two. So. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I was rolling actually twenty. I got uh, a twelve. So you know, yeah, you know, it's 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 good. It's it's actually kind of the way I like it, which is not not too flabby and not too crispy. It's it's got some chew to it, but it's also you know, nice and nice and kind of meaty. So I, I'll say that 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 turns out good because I like bacon. Yeah. Hashtag bacon. <laughs> I will hand it out to everybody, and I will say, give it marks out of ten. If it averages below five, then no harm, no foul. I'll just have to make Clunk 5 again in the near future. Oh. Mm. Oh. Definitely right. give it a 12. Mm. It's pretty good. Let me try actually. this. <laughs> uh, like this. Let's see. I give it a, uh, a 2. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you remember, oh, your, sle your sleeve cuff still smells like tea, so that, 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 ch that checks out as well. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I, uh, I like to think that Clunk also has the bacon grease in his hand, like rubbing it on his shoulder, like boiling himself. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a lot better. <laughs> Just get that right in there. Yep. <laughs> okay. I'll give you, a, I'll give you a six, but it's only could be like a crispy. Okay. Mm. Looks like you've barely scraped a by this time, Clunk. Oh, I give it a ten. I think it's delicious. Ten. All right, uh, Mina. What do you say? You've got the casting vote. Eight point five. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's music to my ears. Clunk, you are a triumph. Now I just need to work on the tea and we'll have a full breakfast in the works. <laughs> oh, it's night though right now, isn't it? That's it yeah. is. We've already yeah. overcooked the egg at this point. Mm. I like breakfast <laughs> yeah. for dinner. Breakfast yeah. for dinner works for me. Mm -hmm. mm. Right, well, I'm well fed and I'm going to get my head down. Carrying this genius around all day does get tiring. I bet. Next, bacon, sausages, <laughs> tomatoes. 
<laughs> no, we've seen what happens when you have sausage and tomatoes before you go out. <laughs> then we meet people like Paul, the XB. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So, uh, in, any other business, or you guys want to set watches and get some sleep? Yes. Are we uh, sleeping out in the open tonight, or do we have any other options? I don't. I mean, it's open where you are. If you have tents, you can use tents, or if you had a wizard with you, even I was though you just disdain yeah. so, you yeah. could do uh, <laughs> you could do the uh, one of the the, the the hut. Yeah, I can't think yeah, of what same. it's called. Um, Rita, you don't up. keep like a like a miniature cabin in your pocket no. or anything. Everyone knows that Carolus no. has somewhere where we can sleep. So oh, that's right. Yes, um, he's in your little thing. Yes, he has a, a small lamp or something. Uh, okay. Looks around, places it down somewhere that's going to be hidden, like under a bush or something, uh, away from the fire. Uh, waits for everyone to come around. He, he rubs it and then it basically just swirls around and consumes us all inside. That's so, what I was looking for. All right. So that, that's that's amazing. But I do need you guys to make a decision as that is happening. You were going to leave oh, the, the I was gonna say you're gonna leave the book open so he could stare at the stars. Mm -hmm. If you go mm -hmm. into the demi plane of the bottle, I see don't we know allow that... him plenty of time and then gotcha. we'll say, okay. right, come on, last watch and then Gotcha. We'll go. So yeah, that's that that is great for me. So then if it's if it's hidden away, uh, we'll say that there's totally some bushes you can hide it under. Uh, the night <laughs> The night passes uneventfully. Uh, everyone gets a long rest, so please refill your hit points and spell slots and other various used activities. Oh, good. Carolus, what happens if someone finds this lamp and just helps themselves to it? We awaken um, in the pocket of a traveler, or? Oh, I'd feel sorry for when they rub it, and I, we can exit it at any time. All right. Let's hope it's not in an orc's war treasure chest or something when we come out. I mean, I, exciting, again, at I, least. I, I'm loving the idea of putting the lamp in your pocket and then it just expands full of people and now you're lying there with torn, your pants just torn off of you. <laughs> it's, it's basically <laughs> like the hut. You know, you can go inside like a hut sort of thing. You know, mm. yes, uh, it says uh, you can magically vanish and enter the vessel, which remains in the space you left. You can remain inside the vessel up to eight hours. You exit the vessel early if you use a bonus action to leave, if you die or if the vessel is destroyed. So, man, Imagine that is uh, super cool. Is it like quite bohemian inside, sort of luxury yes. silken pillows and yeah, like and just, just hookah pipes everywhere, yeah. carpets <laughs> everywhere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I kind of jam. You know, we stayed in it before, so there's like plenty of beds and stuff. So. Right. Okay. Uh, well, well, that's amazing. So the the night passes uh, uneventfully, and uh, you guys pop back out exactly where you had been. No, no one seems to have been past the campsite at all and uh as soon as you're out you uh, whoever has the sending stone feels the the familiar kind of like vibration of it do you do you have it cesar yes i, I cesar has it <laughs> <laughs> well please push the button so we can hear uh you you hear the familiar voice of master sage tomris uh uh, hello, did did you all send a ruffian here to become an acolyte? Are, are you serious? What, what is happening out there? For him, t'was a face, fate better than death. <laughs> we had bacon last <laughs> night. <laughs> uh, all right, I love it. The uh, you can you can tell that she's probably just perplexed and steaming on the other end. <laughs> Jealous that we had bacon. Mm. Uh, alrighty, so this is where we are, friends. You're at the top of a cliff that is about 60-odd feet down to the beach below, and you know, from, from kind of looking at what maps you have, you know what would be funny is if I actually joined the game. Yeah. Oh, that'd be cool. <laughs> that'd be cool. Thanks, thanks for keeping me on point, everyone. We're professionals here. 
Um, do we have to get down this cliff to continue our path? You, you do. So based yeah. on ba based on your knowledge and the, the, the maps and things that you have, you know that you will have to um, you'll have to get down to the the coastline to to continue because any kind of road or anything diverges, and you know that this laboratory is on the coast. Okay. Okay. Uh, and how high is this cliff? It's about 60 feet. And so uh, what I was going to do is have you all do uh, group checks. We'll do a group check to get halfway down and then a group check to get the rest of the way down. And the way we do it is everyone rolls a an athletics check. And it, as long as half or more of you succeed, the group succeeds. Okay. So uh, I don't have climbing gear, but I have 50 feet of rope. Can I use that to assist us in any way? If you did, you would, you'd you'd find something up here to tie it onto, and you would probably lose it because it would then be tied up top. But you could, if you're willing to lose it, I would let yeah. you guys have advantage on the rolls. Uh, that's hmm. what I would do. I'll, 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 that would I, could, I could hold it at the top and then come down later, because if I do happen to fall... I can usually uh, yeah. recover pretty well. Same. Okay. So you'll you'll tie it on, or you're gonna try to tie it around your body because this could be the best thing of the whole night if you're. <laughs> <laughs> if if there is a something to tie it to, we'll tie it to something, and then yeah, I can yeah. Just there, there's there's a, there's a tree close enough that that you can tie it off to. Yeah. So then so we'll we'll have everyone that. except Bertrand roll with advantage an athletics check. Got this. What could okay. possibly go wrong? <laughs> I'm a minus one to my athletics. Oh my god! I, I already, oh, I already shit. rolled. I see but, that. You, um, you can, you I didn't can roll do it with advantage. Wait, that's okay. You can go ahead and roll again and and yeah. hunt for that that critical. You might need a that, crit fish. That that might help somebody out later. Um, I got a six. With advantage, I also got a six. <laughs> how do you how do you oh it's shift right it, it is you can just roll it regular one more time and i'll take this this roll and then the next roll that you make especially 16 is probably a pass i got a 27. <laughs> what <laughs> all right so mina got a 16 which is a pass uh i i just can't even look, think about the other sixes right now cesar <laughs> got a 27 which is a pass was that a crit Crit, was it? Yeah, that was a crit, yeah. Oh, oh that was a crit. crit. Alright, so yeah. that's actually gonna be two passes. Oh nice. Um for that. Me um Amy's character. Ariella. Oh. A twelve. Uh a twelve is close but not a pass. So then Carolus and Rebus also got uh, six. Sixes. And then how <laughs> about uh Clunk? Clunk's gonna jump off the cliff. <laughs> launch yourself can it take a 60 foot landing uh okay have There's... you ever heard of the concept of stress testing uh, i i okay i have but let's <laughs> you know what we're gonna we're gonna see what the kraken tells us here so this is 60 feet which is 66 damage you can do it clunk <laughs> <laughs> So that is 20 points of, uh, <laughs> of jumping, of, of self-assigned jumping damage. Um, and so, Bertram, you can untie the rope and then make your roll uh, not at advantage, and then we will see what the how that fares for the group. Okay. Well, I've also got rope uh, if we need it again. No, it's fine. I'll just untie this one, toss it down, and I'm going to, like, attempt to, like like almost like power slide down this uh down this cliff <laughs> just okay, like down, down to the yeah. halfway point yeah all right uh 20 dirty 20. dirty 20. all right so with, with all of those the the riala and 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 Redis and carolus are are having a bit of a bit of a time and and cesar can you know can can expertly move them around and 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 mina helps them around and bertram slides down and scoops one of the sixes up and brings them down to the midpoint uh all right i was, how I was you, thinking we got sixes because he untied it early or something you know 
<laughs> <laughs> I mean, you have no proof of that. So, mm-hmm. um, let's. Uh, how do you guys feel? You need to take a take a minute, or are you ready to do it again? I would do it. Let's go again. Let's All right. Go. So the so the the DC is 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 a little bit higher this time, only because the cliff it, it kind of pulls away at the bottom, so it's a little more a little more difficult. But hey, it's only thirty feet of fall damage if you fall. So. Yeah. Uh, not really anything to get a rope on here, so everybody's just rolling, rolling straight. All right. Um, now, look except what, for Clunk, who is pulling his knee, knees apart out of his <laughs> chest. I was, I was rolling in roll twenty. How do I roll if I am rolling with a die, or what uh, do I, what die do I use? Uh, so it would be a d twenty, but okay. and then you, you just have to add. So your athletics is a plus two. It looks like. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it would be the d twenty plus two. This is okay. not with advantage, no. Yeah. I got a 10. I got a 3. <laughs> got, a tw- got a 12. 19. Uh, I got a 4, 23. But it Same. turns into a 3. I, I'm more disappointed when I do it versus when Roll20 does it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, yeah, that's the feeling. Uh, Riala? Good old 16. Okay, so again, it is not pretty. No. But with three successes and three fails, you guys managed to struggle bus down and you're dirty and your your face is just a little bit kind of scraped up a little but but you uh you definitely manage to get uh to get all the way all the way down to I feel like that's coast. on par for this group though. Oh, oh yeah. Honestly. We are completely professional. Yeah. I say, all this <laughs> climbing is jolly good fun. He says he's almost died three times if not for like Caesar's intervention. <laughs> You would not last on a ship, I can tell you that right now. Well, no, I don't climb on a ship, do I, Caesar? No, I you could... You... Around. Are you telling me uh... there's any climbing on a ship? What What are you going to tell me next about rigging and crow's nests and whatnot? Well, yes. Well, yeah, crow's that does make sense, yeah, yeah. yes. <laughs> a crow's, it's the little bucket at the yeah, top little... of the wooden yeah. pole on the floaty thing, you know. Um, <laughs> help me out here, Caesar. it's like a... What? Nope, you're doing you're doing great. Just keep digging at all. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so speaking of holes, you all may have to help Clunk. Like, he's like a, uh, he's, a, he's he's up to his knees in sand because you you have come down into uh, the sandy beach, and so uh, on the map here, the the darker area you can tell is is kind of erosion from the cliff. So there's there's several different kinds of dirt in it, but then as it kind of reaches out here to this little bit of rocks. It's much more just standard sand where some of the other soil has washed away. So he's yeah, uh, he's not hurt, but he for sure is like, uh, uh, uh. get it together, Clunk. You're embarrassing me. Pull your feet out and let's get moving. Uh, you're and, uh, muted, Nate. You're, you're muted. the one who tossed him <laughs> over. <laughs> <laughs> Expected him to land possibly on the grass, Clunk. Wouldn't that have been smarter? Yes. <laughs> I'll just knock on his head. You are adults sometimes, you old bucket of bolts. Now, seriously, get your feet out and let's get moving. Uh, all right. So he will he will kind of sit down and begin to work kind of one of his legs up. And it, it's a process. And you all, rather than helping him, just stand and watch him. Which is <laughs> no, I would, I would I would totally yeah. help poor Clunk. <laughs> I'm standing there tapping my feet. I yeah. Yeah. for sure Carolus is like <sighs> yeah. is their teammate. Um <laughs> uh, yeah, but you managed to, to get him up and he uh he seems seems okay. I He's, don't uh... know if I fully trust Clunk, and so I want to stay on his good side. <laughs> <laughs> Are you envisaging some kind of some kind of robot uprising where they yeah. kill their benevolent masters? Don't be ridiculous. Yeah. Clunk is loyal to a T, right, Clunk? And I'll slap him on the back. <laughs> he uh, he he just kind of nods. There you go. As trustable as um, well as a robot killing machine, I suppose. And and gosh, who doesn't trust those? <laughs> right. Uh, all right. So, can everybody 
Make me a perception check, please. Oh, I can do perceptions. Oh, okay. 14 plus 7. 30, 20. 21. No, it's a 3. 28. I'm thinking really? Oh my god, game. I, I, I'm, no. <laughs> you can, you, you can, you can totally is, use roll 20 if you want, Madeline. This and, uh, is so bad. Like, what's your oh roll? my goodness. Uh, I, a seven plus a six, so 13. Uh, 13's that's not so terrible. bad. I mean, Nate rolled a three. <laughs> I got a three. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> uh, now, that being said, the, the two of you are just looking at the two holes that Clunk made with his feet. The rest of you notice um, very faintly in the sand uh, up here kind of at this edge and going, following along the curves the entire length of this map, there are footprints uh they seem to be a, a day or two old uh and two kind of dragged parallel lines uh in the sand as well and again they seem like they're a little bit filled in but uh certainly something it looks like someone has walked through here dragging something how deep are the um the drag marks um uh, they're about an inch or so deep uh, but again, they filled in a little, so they, they could have been maybe an inch and a half um, deep to start with, the, judging by how filled in the footprints are. They are human footpr oh, humanoid footprints? Yeah, they seem to be, and then they seem to be normal size as well. All right. How Probably many sets just, did you say? The, the, the erosion of it is a, a little too much to fully tell, but somebody rolled... I rolled like a 28. A, I rolled a dirty oh, 20. With a 28, you can for sure tell it's just one set of footprints. Okay. Uh, you can see the, like a tear in the right shoe that continues to repeat. So unless they're using identical torn, identically torn <laughs> shoes. Clever. Um, very clever. <laughs> uh, with a 28, you can for sure tell it seems like one set of footprints. How and the, uh... with a 28, maybe it seems like it's, maybe they're wagon wheel marks. Hmm. Okay. And did said wagon wheel descend from the cliff as well? And how's it got here? No, it, it seems to, like, you can, if you're looking toward the the west, how we're faced, but it's actually to the south. But if you're looking toward the left on the map, it goes as far as you can see. And if you turn around and look, yeah. it comes from as far away as you can see as well. All right, see. Hmm. Oh, I see. Have we descended from this cliff? Yeah. Okay, I see. Gotcha. Right. No yeah. And so you'll be moving in this mm -hmm. direction. It's probably just some traveler, right? I mean, not, nothing to be alarmed about. Just some beachcomber. Yeah. It's just like the fellows on the road yesterday were just people eating lunch. Precisely. Well, they were Good until <laughs> Rita's told them, never mind. <laughs> Don't remind him. <laughs> about the gift, right? <laughs> But not about the wish, right? <laughs> no, not about the wish. No. <laughs> we don't mention the wish. Anyway, no harm done at the end of it. And Sage Thomas got a new Acolyte out of it. So, you know, it's net gain, really. Yes. Did she seem pleased, Cesar? Uh, she never seemed pleased when she got to talk to me on the Sending Stone. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Did she have any other... Advice, your instruction, anything? No, from the way I heard her, it sounded like after we told her about the, the fate of the acolyte, she took her hand, pressed it to the, to the pinch of her nose, and held it there for a good minute. I couldn't hear it, but I felt it, you know. <laughs> yes, I'm familiar with this feeling, Cesar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sounds, sounds about right for her. Well, shall we press on? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, keep on walking. Yeah. Let's follow these tracks. Let's no, we're not going to follow the tracks. Okay. If something happens with the tracks, we take care of it when it happens to us. But let's just leave whatever man walking through here with his own beach business to himself. Beach <laughs> business. Beach business. Parallel to these tracks, but not follow them. Okay. So the uh, in in an effort to not make like twenty five of the same map for you to walk on. We're going to say that that you guys walk for, you know, a, a couple of hours and you see all, all manner of 
shells and you know little bits and bobs and things that have washed up but nothing nothing out of the ordinary at all um and just to show that we have moved a little i'm gonna advance you all Ooh, ooh! i know right this is so this is like two hours later um, and we've moved that's... 20 feet. <laughs> <laughs> seashells are the seashells are popping, man. Gotta Dude, stop the, and look at the seashells. The, the sand is real, real deep. Um, Been waiting an hour and 55 minutes for Kunk. <laughs> <laughs> he's got sand uh, in his joints now. He's going to be useless. Yeah, so he's, he's got one really well oiled bacon arm and then really crackly knees now. <laughs> well, just like me. <laughs> That's old age. We'll uh, we'll loop back arm? on that. We'll loop back on that bacon arm at, at bake. Uh, all right, could everyone again please roll me a perception? Perception plus seven. I got Ooh, an eight. Better. So it's it's a I got a 19. seven. Uh, yes, yeah, thank uh, goodness. Eight. Okay, there. we're at a twenty-one. Nice. Okay, yeah, uh, tell go. me again. This is the one thing I, that, that sucks about not having enrolled 20 is I have to ask you the numbers again. Oh, that's true. <laughs> so it's we got a 7 from Jade. Like 15. Uh, Cesar. I'm oh, sorry, 15 from Carolus. Cesar. Uh, 19. Uh, Bertram? I had the 7. I see. Uh, Redis? 8. Uh, Riala? I got a natural 1. Ooh. Oh, Funk is very distracting. <laughs> <laughs> and and Mina. Twenty one. Hey. Uh, all right. So, um, Mina and Cesar and Carolus, you all hear something on the uh, the cliff's edge above you, kind of up here. Are you pinging? Are you pinging? Oh, I'm sorry. I sorry. I had the wrong thing oh, selected. Over there. Over there. Okay. I, I fat fingered my mouse. And pressed back. <laughs> um, you do. Say that That's... I don't see it as readers because I'm constantly talking. Cesar, it, did, did you hear that? <laughs> yeah, I hear it. What does that sound like to you? Roll the the three of you roll a nature check. Oh, oh yeah, nothing ever went Ooh, wrong with that. Uh, here, here's gonna be the trouble roll. A seven. <laughs> nature. A four. Oh, I don't have any pluses. Yeah, same. Sixteen. Not... Oh, there we go. We're not Sa smart. Saved by Mina. <laughs> Mina, not smart. A pig in you it. uh, you look up just in time to see cresting the hill. Mm hmm. Oh shit. What was that? Well, What's you rolled a 16. You know what it is. It's a wyvern. Or for some reason, oh. as Ryan says, a wyvern? It's a wyvern. I got to talk. Wyvern. I got to talk. I heard of, yeah, wyvern. I, I think Ryan says wyvern. And I got to talk to him like about why. Is that like a wyvern. werewolf? Uh, you wyvern? know, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Wyvern? But these are not That sounds wear. terrifying. Yeah, that these are not wear cool. anything. <laughs> um, but, uh, but you look up and there's one just at the top kind of looking down on all of you. And he lets out this guttural, guttural screech, and another one appears. Oh, seems, seems friendly. Mm. Uh, we hear the screech uh, even if we failed the perception roll. Uh, oh, yes, God, you, you absolutely do. Just look up and there. there's a turn order. Great. Uh, <laughs> and so yes, cool. give it the bacon. And then, <laughs> they smelled the bacon, and that's yeah. why they've come out. That dang uh, arm. Damn that bacon that arm. Thing. Reason, Roll. Uh, with his terrible perception, just be like shielding his eyes from the sun. Be like, seems to be some kind of local. Like, Good day. Uh, just <laughs> travel it. Read us, read us this one. You can tell about the wish. Oh, right, really. Fellow investigators, no doubt. We're on the way to a wish. <laughs> You're going to confuse him. Yeah, that's the point. <laughs> I suppose yeah. I will see it's a women. One somewhere. of our awesome initiatives. Readers is coming still in. Missing, still missing one person. Cesar. I just put I just put it in. 
Did I not? Ah! You didn't select the I token. Saw I saw it. Select the token. Oh, I can't select Wait. the token. Oh, okay. No, it's I just noted it wrong. I see it right there. It says 16.14. It's, it's not in the tracker, tracker, though. I was on pan oh. instead of uh, select uh, token, gotcha. so I didn't get the thing. You, you just go ahead and just re-roll your initiative, and then you can change the number back to what it was. Cool, the cool. 16.14. You might as well leave it as it is. as your top anyway. Oh, I'm yeah, that's I'm, true. I'm going to put in that 16 just in case. No, it's got 15, so... It does make a difference. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm All aware. right. Sorts descending. All right, Cesar. You uh, you are presented with two wereverns. No, two wyverns. <laughs> two wyverns at the, uh, uh, on the precipice there who are, who are kind of screeching. And, I mean, you've seen things look at you hungrily before. Yeah. They, they look a little hungry. Look, they look a little hungry. Um, well, uh, I'm going to draw my trident with the quickness. And so, and so remember that they are above you there. So that's 60 feet up as well? Yeah, right there, they're probably not quite 60. They're probably closer to 50 because they're they're kind of on the edge of it down. Um, I'm so, so mad at you right now because I was just looking at a meme about the Pythagorean theorem. And <laughs> <laughs> If you can, if you have a range that'll hit them on the draw of the line, I will allow that. We don't need to go into advanced <laughs> mathematics. Um, I but saw that meeting too. You're not going to be able to run up and hit them. Oh no, no, yeah, no. I'm I'm going for a range for a range attack. I wasn't going to. Oh. No. <laughs> yeah. You, then then as long as it's within within your range using the the draw tool, you should be fine. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm not about to run up there. Um, I'm going to take my trident pointed. Uh, here, oh, gotta go back to the thing. Point it here, like in between the two of them. Okay. Um, wait. Uh, how big is a 10 foot? Was a spear or a diameter? I want to cast shatter. Is, um, so, um, okay. My question uh, is, what's that space look like? 10 foot radius, I believe. The ten foot radius sphere. All right, so I'm I'm gonna. I gotta go grab a spell effect, but yeah, I I will I will grab that. Um, spell templates. While you're doing that, everyone, we are sponsored by Crack and Dice. If you would like to win some amazing, beautiful math rocks, much like these ones here, and everyone else has got theirs, please exclamation mark giveaway to enter to win some so we are very very fortunate to be sponsored by them so let's see is that right that's uh right. that's, that's a, yeah big. that's a little big that's 15 there it is there you go uh yeah so you want to put shatter right there yeah yeah i'll say that that i mean they're they're large creatures so i will say that 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 that, that will tag them if that's cool. what you're going for yeah i dig it all right so from them that's going to be a constitution saving throw okie dokie so this is going to be on blue do you have any battle music uh 16 yes 16. we do 16 16, 16 on blue and a seven on green uh so Blue saves, green doesn't. Mm. And uh, that's half damage on. Yeah, half damage on, on the save. So that's going to be 11, uh, 13 points of damage. 13 points on green? Yeah. And. Then six points. Six. six points on blue. Uh, okay, you uh, you hear this this cacophonous just crack right up between them, and the green screams out in pain. And um, you know for sure there's no more no talking your way out of this one now with the uh, with with the the wyverns. The wyverns. Uh, could I'm gonna could pull they talk before. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, <laughs> but you know for sure now. I'm just gonna pull this over here in case you toss that shatter out again. Cool, cool. Uh, anything else on your turn, sir? Um, eyes up. 
Just hit everyone. Yeah. I don't know what else going on? Them. That's it. Right. Read us. I can just about see their silhouette. Um, Clunk, pass me one of those special bolts, would you? And then um, Clunk's going to shoot out, like, he'll open his wrist and take out a bolt for Redus's crossbow. Mm -hmm. And he'll put it in his crossbow, and then this huge, like, ornate, heavy crossbow, and shoot it up at one of the wyverns. Um, okay. Which one are you shooting at? Uh, I'll go for blue, and I got okay. 25. 25 will hit. Okay, cool. And that's a special crossbow bolt that does an extra 2d6 force damage with um, my shucks. Artificer ability, Arcane Jolt, which lets me add 2d6 extra force if I hit something with a magical weapon. Um, nice. So 1d6, I got, oh, I got a 1 on the, um, I mean 1d10 plus 6, I got a 1 on the dice, so that's 7 plus 2d6 is 8, so 15 points of damage. Yeah, he he is unhappy about that, for yeah. sure. Well, he's certainly going to be unhappy about this because I'm going to shoot him again in the head to kill him. <laughs> um, for a 24. A 24 hits. Okay, this one's not got the special bolt damage, but um, I'll see how that one landed. And, oh, there's an 8, so that's 14 damage. Uh, yeah, Un unhappy for sure. Uh, anything else for your turn? I will end my turn. Alrighty, Bertram. All right, uh, starting out, I'm gonna go ahead and cast Shield of Faith on myself. Give myself an extra plus two <clears throat> for my action. Oh, what's my range here? Hey, he's close enough. Uh, action, I'm gonna go ahead and use my my sling and just throw some rocks at this thing. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, attack one is a 22. That'll hit. Four. Jeez, I just threw my microphone. <laughs> Nine <laughs> points of damage. He's slinging everything. Uh, Nine <laughs> points from a sling. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Rolled a six on a d6. Uh, second attack is a dirty 20. That'll hit. That is six points. So, what is that? Thir uh, 13 total? 12 total? Uh, I think so. I'm not super sure. No, 15. Um, I, not, every time nine you, plus six. When you tell me the number, I just do minus that number, and it updates it right then for me. Great. Okay. Uh, I, I don't know how to add or subtract anymore. Roll 20 has spoiled me. Um, he is completely wishing that he was higher in the turn order. Uh, <laughs> uh, does that end your turn, uh, Bertram? Uh, it, uh, let me move a little bit. Let's head to the front of the pack here. And I'll stay there. Yeah, it's like, oh yeah, you're the one that did that to me. Yep. <laughs> That's the goal. Nina. Well, all right. So um, I am going to pull out my short bow um, and go ahead and attack the the green one. I believe has more damage, yeah? Uh, well, currently they it started with more damage, but they have been tagging blue pretty, pretty rough, so. All right. Um, so I'm going to attack the green just because I like the color better. And okay. <laughs> hey, you know oh, what? I, I'm not I'm not here to judge. You can use the 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 your your normal sheet and roll from that if you want. You don't don't feel like you have to use your. your I know, I'm dice. like I feel like I I like I owe it to myself to math. Um, okay. So uh, 13 plus seven. So that's 21. That's 20. 13 plus seven is 20. 20. Sorry. See, mathing. That's all right. And then... Um, so, yeah. So, dirty 20 hits. And so, then I roll yeah. 1d6. Plus 3, right? 1d6, which I got a 4, plus 3, that's 7. Yeah, is that if that's the right damage for the weapon, I, I'll, I'll take it. Yes. It says Be 1d6 confident. plus 3. 
There you go. Be confident about it. There you go. Smash seven. <laughs> uh, okay. What else? Um. All right. So I'm gonna do that again. Smash. Oh, 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 dirty twenty. Dirty. Okay. Sorry. Dirty twenty. Uh. So twenty-seven, which. Uh, yeah. Is, is it then, is it a dirty twenty or a natural twenty? Oh, sorry. It's it's the one with this guy on it. The like with the, the, with, the, with, the with the Kraken on it. That's yeah. a crit. That's a crit. Oh. Natural twenty. That's a natural twenty. Natural. D- natural twenty. Dirty is when it adds up to twenty. Natural is oh. when it just is a twenty. See, I didn't even know these things. Okay, cool. So and so that's a crit. So what's the damage on your weapon? Um, it. it D6, is one d six plus three. One d six plus three. So roll roll one d six, and did. then we're gonna we're gonna add nine to it. Oh, because the way that I do crits, the same way that Ryan does crits, you get maximum base weapon damage. So that's six mm-hmm. plus your three, and then you roll for the extra crit damage. Because there's so nothing I, worse than critting and getting two ones. Uh, so I got it. I got a lovely two. And plus nine, so, so that's 11. eleven. Eleven. Yay! Uh, all right. What else? Anything? That's that's it. Cool, Carolus. Uh, he will scribble arcane circles in the air and then point to the to the blue one as he hexes him, and okay. fires the first bolt, uh, Eldritch blast at that one. I rolled an 18 plus 11, so that's 29. <laughs> that's a solid hit. <laughs> or oh, I rolled max damage of, well, nearly max damage with the hex. It's one less than max. I rolled 20 damage on the first one. Holy oh, shit. 10, 10 plus 5, plus I rolled 5 for the hex damage. And then if it's not dead, he shoots another one at him. He he is not dead, but he, okay. if you can see worry on... A wyvern's face. He obviously face. pushes him back <laughs> no. ten feet as well. Uh, actually, I don't know if that's. Oh, d- I don't know if that's large that? creatures. Actually, I don't know. I'll check. He's not <clears> dead yet. But I'll do another one. I rolled a four, but that's plus eleven, so that's fifteen to hit. <laughs> fifteen still hits. Real still hits. Okay, an eight plus ten, eighteen damage. Jesus. I don't <laughs> know. Why I didn't do this last session. I keep need to remember that hex for me is very very powerful. Not only that, next round, obviously, I've got Madeline Hex on top of that. So, uh, you have, so, you have, so he you have Madeline Hex. <laughs> Madeline Hex. <laughs> Madeline's Hex is next up. Um, so he, so he is under the Hex condition, then, correct? He is indeed. Um, I'm, I'm sure. Right. I, I don't know what that looks like, but it's going to be that symbol for now. I will. There's, pr- it, there's probably yeah. an actual symbol for it. I've typed. Uh, why does it? Oh, hang on. Let me just. Is it displaying detail? There we go. There we go. Right. And he's got disadvantage on ability checks of my choosing. Um, Dex, no con. Uh, we'll do con save. I don't think it matters against spell effects anyway. So. Okay. So yeah. Uh, all right. Any anything else? Um, that was my bonus. That was my action. And I'll just stay there for my movement. Yeah. So now it's finally his turn. Um, and since you lit him up, just Go on. Gangnam style, he's, uh, he's going to fly. Oh, maybe I'll make sure he's got enough flight. Oh, yeah, he's got 80 feet of flight. Mm-hmm. So he's going to come over here. I'm just going to pick you into a square there. So that's within his five foot attack of you. Yep. And he is going to, he makes two attacks. He's going to make a, a bite attack and a claw attack. I'm sorry, a bite attack and a stinger attack. Okay. Oh boy. Yes. So the bite is a, a 16. Misses. And the stinger is 12. Misses. <laughs> All right, so he just rolled in on you, Billy Badass, and missed point blank with both of his attacks, uh, and has brought himself within easy range of Riala. Damn, you stupid! <laughs> I mean, he's got an int of five. Ah, <laughs> I feel bad for these guys. Yeah, yeah me too. Kill it. 
<laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to Toll the Dead on blue. Okay. So that's going to be a wisdom save from you. DC 16. All right. Well, he made a 10. And he's already been hit, so I get to use D12s. And are you at are you at three D twelve yet, or still at two D twelve? Um, see, still at two D twelve. I think two D twelve. Yeah, yeah. next level. Yep. A ten and an eight, so eighteen. Oofta. And then um, I will bonus action spiritual weapon. Ooh, okay. You should be able to just drag that out of the journal. Yeah, let me see. Yeah. There. Whoop. No, I'm just highlighting everything because that's what we drag wanted it, to do. Drag it by the there name. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. So um, I'm just going to throw my hand up and you'll see like a giant flaming sphere of like sunburst energy appear next to him. And I will lash out with that. Uh, 18 to hit. Yeah, that hits. <laughs> D8, so that's another eight damage. Um, okay. With a, just a, just a, in kind of a wet schlump, it hits <laughs> the sand. So Sorry, just, can you do that sound effect again? No, nay, please don't. Nay, I Let can't, me take my headphones I'm, off. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure it, someone will have clipped it, but it won't be near as maddening. It won't be near as maddening for them. Wet schlump. Uh, and so he has expired. Uh, any other things yes. for you? I am going to move up next to Clunk. Wise decision. Uh, okay. So <laughs> I'm only saying this to make uh, Harry say, oh, now I really feel bad. Seeing yeah. its mate killed oh. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, fall like a wet schlump onto the sand <laughs> with that cry. 10, 15, 20, 20, 30. Uh, it is closing in and is going to Riala attack you. Uh, one, one attack with a bite, one attack with a stinger. Uh, 17. Misses. Uh, dirty 20. That hits. All right. Uh, so this is 2, 6 plus 4. Right, uh, so that's 13 piercing. Okay. And 7d6 poison. Oh my gosh. Sweet. While you're cool. doing that, massive shout out to the Gilded Troll. Thank you very much, guys, for the raid. I hope you had a great stream. We are currently doing a giveaway by our sponsor, Crack and Dice. If you would like to enter, exclamation mark giveaway. Uh, and welcome, guys. Much appreciated for the raid. Welcome, everyone. It's an emoji what? raid. 23 points of poison damage. And I want you to know just how lucky you are. Three of the seven were ones. Ooh. <coughs> um, uh, you must you must make a constitution saving throw. Ooh. Oh, you know what? You might not take all that poison. Make a con save because it's only half as much if you save. Can I use my ability, my reaction, my... Um, my ingenious intellect to, um, I guess, tell her to, wait, Riala, squeeze the wound. Don't try and close it. You can push the poison out. And that's going to be my use of, um, I know it doesn't make any sense, but I've got to, you know. It makes total sense. But... Um, what's this move called? Gosh, it's the, um, the used it last week, I think. Ability. Yeah, it's like, the, Divine like spell? Flash of Genius. Eight. She can add th uh, plus five to her roll. Okay. Wow. Yeah. To so a con save plus five. Squeeze the poison out. Just 16. 
that beat. So you actually only take 11 points of uh, of poison damage instead of the 23. Okay, so I already nice. did the 23, so I'll just heal 12. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, say, we are so close to hitting 2,000 followers. That's creeping up ever closer every day. It that is. Was, very that much, was guys. clutch, Welcome. Harry. Thank you. I know that was the that was the difference, wasn't it? So yeah. I'm quite proud of myself. Uh, and that's that's going to end the grieving Wyvern's turn. Hey, Cesar. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, I'm gonna step in to here and uh, attack it with my trident. Okay. Did you go ahead and try? <laughs> oh. oh, we miss you, Ryan. We miss you so much. <laughs> oh. Well, that's a two. <laughs> so two an, eight. Does, uh, an eight does not hit him. All right. Well, as a bonus action, I'm going to cast Spiritual Weapon. Okay. And you should be able to drag yours out as well. Grab it by the name, not the little air, the little lines. Yeah, don't okay. highlight everything like that. <laughs> by the name. There we are. And tell us what your Spiritual Weapon looks like. It looks like a... Um, uh, an ethereal cutlass. Hmm. That's cool. And see. Super cool. Uh, nice. All right. So you gonna you gonna attack with that as well? Yup. I knew you Kill were. the other one with the spiritual weapon. Let's do it. <laughs> uh, Seventeen. Uh, Seventeen hits. Oh yeah. All right. And that's just going to be uh, six points of damage. Okay. Again, a, a, a cry of pain, but you, you can tell maybe it's more of a cry of loss and sadness than a cry <laughs> of actual pain. Um, anything else for you, sir? Nope. That's all I got for this turn. All right. Redis, you're back up. Okay. Uh, well, I'm a crossbow expert, so being within five feet of it makes no difference to me. So I'll load one of my two crossbow cartridges into this fancy sort of mahogany looking weapon and just angle it and just let off both shots right into this wyvern's face. Okay. For a, that's- so is, is, is that rolling two attacks or do they- Yeah, is it I'm two, rolling two, two attacks. Okay, yeah. okay. Uh, so that's a 28. And 28 hits? It's a 24, so- 24 not hits. Not likely to miss either of those. Um, 1d6, so that's- Four plus six, ten damage, and then the second one is um, eight plus six, fourteen damage. So twenty-four damage in total. Uh, okay, it's it's definitely looking bloodied. Okay. Uh, any uh, anything for you? How bloodied is it look? Like super bloodied? Uh, forget I asked the question. No, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, Bertram. All right. Um, I will pull my wooden sword and just start chopping. <clears throat> okay. So d does it, uh, your your reluctance to kill apply to monsters as well? Or, um, just, or just people? Typically just people. Uh, what, I mean, do I know what, like, what's like the intelligence of a wyvern? Five. It's grieving. I was gonna say, if it's grieving, then that might cause me some hesitation. I'm like, you just oh, shot it I in mean, its grieving face as tears oh, were coming down. Yeah. It's got feelings. It, it's mostly you know. grieving just to just to mess with Harry, but <laughs> it, all, it only has an int of five. So God damn it, it, wyverns and their, their mind games. <laughs> I was say, it's it's mostly bestial. I think I'm gonna take it down. Yeah, so. I mean, I would I would agree with that. Uh, first hit is a fourteen. 14 hits. It does. Uh, D8. Um, plus three, seven damage. Okay. Uh, second attack. 13? Uh, that's a contest. Okay. All right. So it, it, just so you know, in, in, in my games, if you're making an attack and you, rather than meet to beat, which is the 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 D and d standard, if you if you meet the armor class with your attack, we do just a straight d20 roll off and see, we let the dice tell us what actually happens. So this is our roll off and I brought it home. You're not gonna beat it because I brought all four of mine home. <laughs> I got a 14, so. 
<laughs> yeah, so that is a hit from, All right. uh, from you. So that's another nine points of damage. Is it All still right. uh, still yeah. looking rough? Oh yeah, I mean it, it absolutely looks rough, but it, it right. for sure is still up. So well, let's uh, let's spend a key point and flurry of blows it then. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, make it quick. <laughs> two two more unarmed attacks, real quick. Um, it gives me a twenty six and a sixteen, so those, those should both, both hit. hit. Oh no. I mean, good, but still, oh no. Reroll that one. Uh, f- four plus six, ten damage total for both of those. Ten damage each or ten damage total? Total. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's 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 mad, and if it had enough smarts, it would be rethinking its life choices, but it, well, then- uh, it's... <laughs> Don't you get to do a strike, a, a, a special strike with a stunning blows? strike? Uh, if I spend another key point, but you know what? Oh, oh, I, I thought it was just for spending the one. No, I'll, uh, I'll say I don't really. Uh, no, I, fine. I, I would say he looks close enough that you don't necessarily need to burn another key point. Yep, that's my thought as well. So, uh, all right, anything else on your turn? Uh, no, I should be good. I am going to move no. closer oh. to everybody else. I'm going to circle around. Over here. Okay. Sounds good. Mina. Cool. Um, so, can I can I blast through these people, or will I hit all of them? <laughs> With, like, an Eldritch Blast? Yeah. Yeah, I will say that, that you totally can unless you bollocks it and roll a one, and then we might have to roll to see if somebody can make a save you out of the way. Because <laughs> you're, be. you're, you're right enough. in their back door. Yeah. It's, um... uh, you know, that's that's actually true. Actually, Jade's right. It, it's a large creature, so it is, it, it's big. Got it. uh, we'll Got say it. that you're shooting over everyone. Okay. If it so... were regular size, we might have to have a roll on a one. Um. So I got 11 plus nine. Oh. So, 20. Dirty 20. That dirty will hit. 20. The dirty 20. The dirtiest of all 20s. Um, <laughs> 1d10. Oh, oh, God. I haven't rolled one of those yet. I don't know what that one looks like. One second. It's the one that only has 10 numbers on it. Yeah, that narrows it down, yeah. Flying saucer. <laughs> yeah, there's this, two flying saucers. One? I don't know. It's all keyed out. Oh, sorry. Yes, yes that's it. Yes, that's it. Yeah. Or like nine numbers if you don't count zero. <laughs> <laughs> oh, two True. plus fives so we're at seven okay <laughs> seven damage and for my bonus action I will use hex because I haven't done it yet okay. I, I can use that as a bonus action right yeah 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 um and does it, it do damage when it lands yes. hex does if okay if she would have cast it before the elders blast then yes all right, so this one's not okay. I don't get anything for that one, so that one's just oh no, no, no. fifteen. Uh, yeah, fifteen to hit. That hits. Yeah, and then one d six, and that is just five. That's, okay, that's that's the cube. Yeah, five. Um. Okay, he's uh. He's not looking good. It's Gosh. every time you look and say, that's not looking good. It gets worse <laughs> and then it gets worse. Remember that, that Carol has put 60 points down in one round or 40 points down yeah. in one round. So you missed a lot of this, like looking worse and worse and worse. Um, anything else on your turn, Mina? Um, no, that's it. Okay. Carol. Okay. I bonus action move the hex over. I've rolled a 28 and a 13 to hit. Uh, the 28 hits and the 13 is a contest. So, but roll the 28 damage first. I've already rolled it. Yeah. It's the max. Da- uh, it's not max damage, but it's 20 damage again for that one. Uh, all right. So why don't you tell me? Five. Why don't you tell me just what happens when you let that that you blast just... go? fires off the flurry of uh, Eldritch Blast straight at the head and it ends up sort of uh, burning through the neck 
and is this kind of like a Vegeta flurry of Eldritch blasts? So you're just <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, he's just literally just throwing them, and the second one, the, the first one might have killed it, but he still hits it with the second one just to confirm, just to be sure. Because you, yeah. I mean, you get nuke it from orbit, you got to be sure. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> as, as as he lets out his his just dying just guttural scream which is worse than the schlumping of the first one um you uh you all see what must be the child oh come on over here <laughs> and it's like oh, mom dad oh bonus and i should then, do that one as well no, in really. common <laughs> <laughs> it, uh, it's you know it's smart and that's what makes it really sad oh, and boy. then uh he will fly away Oh, man. Um, uh, how far is he? I've got a range of 120 feet. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> I must say, yeah, a sniper from the sky. He, he's, uh, he, he's mm. dashing. Yeah. <laughs> Call the entire population of wyverns, then they die out altogether. <laughs> and it's just two, it's fine. Oh, we let the other dear. one go. How far is that? I'll try to calculate if I could hit it. <laughs> we let, we let, we've let two go. We've let the one go, that's fine. Yes, let's let that one live. How, how one, one, can is, uh, one can repopulate <laughs> the species, it's fine. Yeah. Mm. One must live to tell the tale. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, all right, so you uh, you have all just dealt with these two very hungry wyvern that were just doing what wyverns do, hunting for food. Mm. Not really trying to murderize you. <laughs> yes, they were. They were oh, yeah. I mean, uh, for all right, for sure, you all look tasty, and and clunk smells like bacon. So, <laughs> yeah. exactly. I mean, I, I I wanted to front on that, but for, yeah, you guys you guys look tasty. I mean, who's a? Uh, Hang on a minute. You're trying to pull this trick that um, Ryan tried to do in the first thing, like with the the goblins. With the goblins. I'm like, right, we're going to slaughter them, and they'd be like, but 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 we got a family. I'm like, I'm what? Hungry. Yeah. <laughs> Let's <laughs> extract some of that delicious wyvern poison, shall we? Do you have an alchemist kit? I have every kind of kit, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm honestly just made of kits. I've got this thing called Right Tool for the Job. With the Thieves tools, you can magically create one set of non-magical art and sense tools. They vanish when you use this feature again. So basically my Thieves kit is every tool proficiency. Nice. That's amazing. Nice. Yeah, That's so amazing. you have two... Two uh, dead dead wyvern that you can uh, can draw draw poison from. Everybody, stand back. This takes a little bit of finicky. If you cut them wrong, it's poisonous. No, it makes no sense. Um. Uh, now wait a minute. Now, so do you have it created? Because Samus says it takes an hour to create. Oh, the tool. it does take an hour to create the tool. Okay. And that's fine. You, know you just what? have to make I sure could, your make sure I your party's okay with that. Anyway, like that. Oh. Yes. Okay. So, hurt me we can use this poison against our enemies so let's take a little rest i'll get to work on these two along with uh, my surgical assistant and clunk will just i'll i'll, f I'll flavor it though like oh, i have all these tools because clunk just has them in his arms <laughs> just like extends his arm and there's a whole surgeon's kit there does clunk have an apron i, he I does, feel like he needs to, an apron yeah. <laughs> tie an apron around him God. clunk did it so I Did continue anyone take... concentrating on Hex, and then we take a short rest. Yeah. Um, you continue concentrating on it? Last Just 24 in case. hours. Yeah, 24 Holy hours. shnikes. Fifth level Hex, yeah. Last all day. 24 hours. Man, that is, that is oh. wild. Uh, yeah, so my guess is both the spiritual weapons will fall off, though. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um. Hmm. And do you guys move away from? Uh, well, if we're uh, extracting poison, from Rita's, we're probably just probably sitting there. Not or, too far. Or does or does maybe Clunk drag the uh, the carcass over? Yeah, I'll have him like position him like I'm dissecting a frog, you know, so their arms are splayed out, and I'll start cutting them up. Rita, okay. so I have a really good question for you. Yes. Can he create tea at the same time? <laughs> it's. Well, yes, but you've got to risk the fact that poison might be in the tea, you see, because he's got poison all over uh, his fingers. Yeah. So. I don't mind that. You know that. Um, sure, I'll have yeah, one. I mean, Thank it you. might make for a nice spicy 
I'll have like, tea, thank mm. you. It's true. It just assumes you're offering. Yawn tea always like the tea with poison. So <laughs> um I'll have I'll have Clutton do the complex tact of being a surgeon's assistant and also make a pot of tea at the same time. It's just really gonna send him crazy. <laughs> See if that works. Alright, I'll buy that. Okay. Um, do I need to roll for the extraction of the toy zone? Uh, what what do the what does the 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 kit rule say on it? I think that you do to see how much you get. Okay. But I could be incorrect on that. I'm not. I'm actually not super familiar with the alchemist kit, and I especially don't. not the artificer kit. Yeah, the artificer kit is just every kit. So it's the same rules as the alchemist kit, which I also don't know. So I'll guess I'll just roll and see the what. This uh, this brought to you by looking up what our stuff is <laughs> and by cracking dice. I'm gonna be good say... to roll hit dice while we're doing all this. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Uh, if you need uh, I can lay on hands if anyone needs a bit of extra healing or mm. like if Ooh, you're close nice. and you don't want to spend another hit die just to top yourself off. Let me know. I'll I'll burn a I'll burn a kill cure wounds. A kick. <laughs> right, so I'm going to. Oh, well, Harry's doing that. Thing. We are sponsored by Crack and Dice, guys. If you want to win some of these incredible, beautiful creations, these are not even released in their shop yet. Um, if you would like to win a set, we are doing two giveaways today one after the break and then one at the end of the show. So, exclamation mark giveaway will uh, enter you into that. So, I don't actually see an alchemist. It's, I'm looking oh. at the wizards thing here, and it just says that you don't even need one. You just need to have, you need to get a DC 20 intelligence nature check and 1d6 minutes to extract the poison. Okay. So, so DC DC 20 nature. Oof. Yeah, but that's oh. fine because I'm like really clever. So. <sighs> let Not me help problem. you with that. And I, I, I give, you give him guidance. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Let the clerics do it. Can we do yeah. three? <laughs> Stand back. I don't need your paltry divine magic for this. We're all, <laughs> we're all touching our, putting our hands on you. Okay. <laughs> I got... remember that the next time you're bleeding out, you don't want our paltry <laughs> divine magic. <laughs> Can I take back what I said? <laughs> <laughs> I can still do this if I roll a four, I think, because I got sixteen. So let, I've got guidance. Uh where's my one D4? Here it is. Come on. That is a three, so I've got nineteen. Oh. oh and what you need to get? Oh, I think you know quite well what I needed to get there, buddy. So <laughs> Well, so we're gonna say that 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 this one was was blue, who uh who, who who had just taken it pretty pretty rough from everybody and you you just about squirted into the vial and then you end up wearing an awful lot of it on your sleeves oh boy this um, isn't good. and then and then it's and then there's just sand mixed in with it and stuff like that so i cast create water immediately to to get that off of him I'm okay laughing to myself yeah to that will uh it, it's, 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 since it's since it's fresh, uh, we're, uh, we'll just say that you can wash it off. Had you not done that just right then, we would have been doing some rolling. But since you did it right on top of it, I'll, I'll, I'll let that have get washed off. Brutus is smart enough not to like rub his eyes and stuff. <laughs> 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 like I'm like Caesar's like standing by like twenty feet back. It's like I. Just... Ah! <laughs> no, seeing that, I'm uh, Bertram's gonna get up and just warm up, lay on hands to neutralize poison <laughs> if he needs to. <laughs> What are you all doing? You're distracting me with your water splashing and your magics. I can do this. And I, can I try the other one? Absolutely. <laughs> I, I, you know what? I would have it no other way. Please try the other one. Go, okay, would you I'll like some again. guidance, Readers? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take a little bit of divine guidance and I'll need it. And looks of it as well. And boy, <laughs> what did I get there? So my nature is plus nine, but I still only got 17. So I've got guidance though, it's the exact same. Oh, come on. Yay, I got to 20, because with a three on the D4. Awesome. There you go. Yeah, so you uh you managed to to extract a uh a, a, a vial of the of the wyvern poison and of the wyvern poison. And yeah, you can wipe your forehead, but don't wipe your eyes. <laughs> and I'll lick my hands. <laughs> oh my <laughs> <God>. <laughs> Not a problem. 
Rolodex Anybody have prestidigitation? No, only wizards have that. That's right. No, you guys um, hate wizards. wizards. Uh, yes, I cast it. I, I actually up. like wizards. Okay, you really? Yeah, you like wizards? Oh, look at me! I'm a wizard. I've got a spell book. <laughs> I don't need a spell book to cast my spells. You're what, a wizard. Oh, do I? And I just <laughs> tidy him up, and I just point to the bits to tidy up. All right, we'll like... say we'll say that he pressed the digitations all of the latent poison molecules off of your your person. <laughs> so oh, stop fussing, Carolus. I'm fine. Do I look like I'm poisoned? <laughs> <laughs> this is not choking up. <laughs> Who would like a, a vial of wyvern poison? Wasted on me, I'm afraid. Um, I suppose I could dip my. That's what I was going to say. Maybe your boats or Mina's arrows, perhaps. Yes. Mina? Yeah. Would you like poison? That would be glorious. Okay. Here you go, and I'll just chuck it over. <laughs> well, you're making a note about care. that. Over in poison. Can't remember that. It's, I remember it being pretty good. If I'm right. is, it, is it the same thing like seventy six, with a deep oh, wow constitution save? Uh, well, that's what the the poison from his stinger is. I will have to look at the yeah, assassin stuff yeah. about applying poisons to weapons. I think but... it's in the. Uh, there's something in the equipment for that for wyvern. Yeah, it's poison. here. It costs oh. one thousand two hundred gold pieces. Oh my gosh! Can I have yeah, that? Yeah, so back? you guys can sell it as well. <laughs> All right, so you guys no. get to uh, the end of your of your short rest, and and everything seems fine. Any other things you guys want to do or discuss in your short here, or going to continue on down the old dusty trail? I think we'll continue. We seem like mm. a very laid back group. Riala, <laughs> you are a life cleric, correct? Yes. Would you say a few words for our departed women friends, please? Uh, sure. Yes. Um, thank you for your sacrifice. We will use your poison well. And um, Godspeed to your baby. <laughs> sure, they'll take solace in the fact that they're helping us hunt down an evil wizard. Yes, yes. Right. Uh, excellent. All right, well, so you guys, uh, you guys are on the move again. And uh, the, the, the does... tracks... Count as a, sorry, it does count as a short rest, right? Yes, it does count as a short. Um, you okay. guys continue on down the, um, the the tracks that you saw before. Uh, also continue, uh, kind of just in that same, just following the the curve of the where the the dark sand turns into light, just following it along, you know, not really deviating at all. So, um, yeah. So any anything specific, or are we just gonna travel? Uh, do those um, those tracks we saw earlier? Does anything come of of them? Uh, do like they stop abruptly, or do they get like fresher the further we no, go along? Um, I mean, roll a survival check. Cool. Guidance. With guidance. Cool. Oh. Um. Twenty three. So ever so slightly, they seem to be getting fresher. Um, so these, you would assume, have been here a little less time. And so they have been filled in a little less by blowing sand and, and you know, kind of sand lapping up from water and stuff like that. So they are getting slightly fresher. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, let's just travel on a bit, I'd say. Yeah. Okay. Let's try and... Uh... So you uh, you guys travel for a bit, and um, you you maybe another hour and a half in, you actually see up in the distance ahead there there is a man uh, who's sitting on a little stool. He's got a fishing rod pressed into the sand, and he has a small two wheel cart with him, uh, and he's just sitting there fishing. Read this. Remember what we've talked about. Right. Um, the wish, right? You're right. Okay, don't worry. I will not say a word to this man. Good. <laughs> Try my best to stay quiet. <laughs> In fact, um, I know what I'll do. I'll pretend that I can't talk at all. 
There you go. That should be a fun game. I'm a mute. Yeah, miracle. Like a mute a miracle if he can follow to a nut bit. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna nudge. I'm gonna nudge Cesar and say like five gold. Says he he forgets his promise like immediately. Oh, I take that. I take that money. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Are you taking each thing. other's money or Rebus's money? I'm not clear on the bet. Yeah, Rebus will take the bet. He'll say, "I bet you I can." <laughs> I stay quiet with the best of them. I've been known to be the quietest man in Candlekeep. Yeah, I no, who? Yeah, no. <laughs> You're not. Well, that, that one time that Riala cast silence on him, he was True. pretty silent. True. Mm. And I'll do it again. <laughs> I just love the idea of you all just walking down the beach in a ball of silence. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just talking, but no one can hear. It's so peaceful. We're all just like, oh, thank goodness. All right, so are you guys just uh, walking as normal? Or are you going to try to stealth up on this lone uh, lone fisherman? No, let's not startle Ooh. poor fisherman. Let's just walk. Um, I I will I will like do like a casual. Uh, I was in bite in as we walk by the by the fisherman. Uh, mm. You can tell that he's kind of more concerned with the bottle of rum that he has. Mm. About, uh, about like every day. Mm. So it's I, good, I, bad. Uh, eh, it's uh, he swirls the bottle of rum. It's about this good. He takes a takes a nice pull off the bottle. I take it. Uh, you you killed the the wyverns that I heard all the noise from, huh? Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Took them down. How, how do you manage to get past them? Oh, they they fly around back there. That's kind of their hunting grounds. It's it's a it's a shame. They're beautiful, beautiful creatures, but uh, but a goddamn nuisance. Uh, it's appreciated. And so by now you're you're getting close enough to uh, to start making out some details of him. So he has you know long long dark hair. He's got a yeah, a beard, kind of like mine, but but filled in actually on the chin. Uh, and again, just kind of nursing that that bottle of rum. Before I say anything, traveler, I can't answer any questions because I am a mute. <laughs> I just hold my hand oh. out to read us. <laughs> mm. Three, four, five. <laughs> I'm incapable of speech. So I cannot answer any of your questions. I'll just That's, turn my back on it. You know, you know what, um, but I'm here. But I'm here. That that what your friends call you, the mute. <laughs> and I'll just point to my mouth like. <laughs> well, <laughs> my uh, my friends all call me Prue, but seeing as how I ain't got no friends, my name is Peter. Peter Proofrock. That checks out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh, that's perfect. It's <laughs> perfect. <laughs> yep. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, thank, thank you, Peter. I need to. Uh, I, need, I, I need to clip that. Hang on. <laughs> totally, totally different. It's spelled different and everything. I <laughs> mm. uh, care to care to sit down and have a. A drink of rum and a bite of lunch, or are you moving on? Uh, we, we actually uh, just took a rest not too long ago. Uh, fine, uh, fine with me. More rum for the belly. And he takes another long pull. <laughs> you travel this beach often? Yeah, every every few days I. Uh, I, I live up to the north, come down, fish, fish till either the wagon's full or I run out of run out of rum and then I uh, travel back home, get more rum or sell some fish. It's kind of a perfect situation. Where are you from? Well, I used to say a lot of salt marsh, but uh, things got a bit hairy there and I decided I had to leave. You can only fight a Kraken so many times before you decide to roll the dice somewhere else. <laughs> there you go. There you go, Amy. That's the trifling DM face right yes. there. So what's, what's his armor class? 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so normally it's a 10, but he's had enough rum that it's probably like a six. <laughs> How about you? Pass along here a lot? Uh, Not- no, no, just the once, actually. Mm. Like in it? Uh, Save the wyverns. Uh, it, I mean, yeah, it's not bad. It's a nice beach. Mm, yeah, save the wyverns. Good cause. No, I mean, <laughs> like, yeah, except for course. except for the wyverns. Yep. Oh, yes. Except save the wyverns. Save, mm. yeah. yeah. Save we the saved wyverns. The wyvern. We did. Yes. So Peter's in chat. <laughs> 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 So, um, uh, <laughs> Mr. Mr. Brufrock, um, you have you traveled down further in the beach than this? Uh, I have before. The fish don't uh, fish don't really bite a whole lot down there. Too many damn crabs down that way, and they 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 eat them all up. So I I normally stay kind of right around in here. Mm. We we heard there's a like a a coral. Like a tower? Oh, yes, something mm. interesting with the coral out that way. Are yeah, you if you, if, yeah, if you keep heading south, there's tons of coral reefs. Beautiful, beautiful, especially in the sunsets. Uh, all sorts of colors, but uh, you dare not take a boat through there. Be ripping the bottom out of it before you get very far. Yeah, it's fine. We'd walk the distance anyway. <laughs> But, yeah, we don't have a... He was going somewhere with that, and then, like, just that rum just kind of, like, like, a wave of that rum got him, <laughs> and he just kind of <laughs> lost where his metaphors were going. Oh, well. Right, well, uh, uh, good fortune on your fishing, uh, and may that bottle of rum serve you well. Always has. I wish you good luck with your fishing. Right, guys? <laughs> very, very kind of you, Redis. Let's go. I oh, wow. wish you would remember that you're mute, Redis. Incapable <laughs> <laughs> of, of human conversation. Victed <laughs> me since birth. <laughs> now let's walk off. <laughs> Peter has just donated thought... 500 bits, says losing his metaphors too. This is actual identity theft. <laughs> so, that is that is a D twenty inspiration. So, uh, but have you got the? Uh, the I macro? do not. I do not have the macro. Okay, so if everyone wants to roll a D twenty on screen, <coughs> okay, on, I'll like unroll twenty. On roll twenty, yeah, yeah, and roll twenty. It won't be it's me. Oh come on! Uh, uh, oh yeah. wow! Okay, seventeen. Readers is coming in with a seventeen. He's already got inspiration though. I do. So, so he can't I'll have give it. To the second roll. So it goes yeah. to Bert. With an yeah, eight. with an eight. <laughs> <laughs> Eric's coming in strong with the natural ones. That even beats my three. <laughs> oh, thank you very much, Peter. And there's nothing going on here. It's just a. Uh, it was something that's out. This is out of the module, Take isn't it? This, this image. Yeah. It, you know, it, it is. It, it it was straight out of the module. I was I was shocked to find it in there. What a coincidence! I just <laughs> cannot imagine. <laughs> Wait, I didn't roll my d twenty. Oh. 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 Never mind. Mound. Yeah, never mind. It's a four. Oh, okay. All right. It's, all right. It's a four. Wow. Thank you. Very that much. was Great. some yeah. astonishingly terrible. You know what? Thing. Everyone. <laughs> Roll twenty is upset that the Kraken dice are coming in clutch and yep. uh, and that it's not getting rolled very much. So it's uh it's definitely taking its paybacks right now. Um, all right. So you uh you guys leave uh Peter Proofrock into his fishing and mostly to his bottle and uh continue to head down the coast. It's it's smooth sailing. You get you get to uh kind of the end of the day and um decide that you maybe might want to camp again but uh, again it's up to you you can push on if you like or have a some skinny dipping or it's uh it's your call oh my hmm i'll go skinny dipping <laughs> this, <laughs> of course you will this this. world of dangerous sea animals sounds quite fun clunk and i will go skinny no, dipping read this. are you sure um, Should Clunk be in Clunk there? Clunk and the, the salt water. Yes, it could prove troublesome. 
I mean, the last time he got wet, it took a lot of mending spells. It was a whole ordeal. I really don't think we have time for that. No, no, I've got an idea, right? Clunk will go in, but not oh, me. Oh, good. Right. <laughs> Another one with ideas. <laughs> yeah, this concept of stress testing the golem until it's perfect and can offer as much as possible to any village. And I've got an idea. He might be a good fisherman, but Look, not I, in the I respect your, your theories. However, we might be facing a powerful wizard tomorrow and perhaps the night before we go into a conflict with a powerful wizard maybe is not the time to stress test Clunk. We may need him at full operating capacity. Oh, no, he'll be fine, I swear. This isn't going to hurt him All whatsoever. Right. I, I've noted your mm. protest towards this, but it, honestly, I think you're going to be quite impressed with this. As the old saying goes, give a golem a fish and he'll feed a town for a day, but teach a golem to fish and you've fed the whole of the Sword Coast for centuries to come. An entire town on one fish. <clears throat> Impressive. So yes. I, I certainly <laughs> hope that someone is going to write all this down and make a book of Redis-isms, because <laughs> I feel like it would be a crime to not have that as an actual book. It'd be an encyclopedia. Redis, book of Redis-isms. It's just a uh, <laughs> spell Red type. Redis-isms? <laughs> he wishes. <laughs> yeah. uh, um, all right, so so you're going to send Clunk into the water to go fishing. I'm going to send him in, and I'm going to say, um, what's the a, what's a thing? Okay, I'll say, Clunk, execute command lightning jolt, and he'll use his arcane <laughs> jolt ability. Is he so, electro fishing? Oh, my yeah, God. he's going to go electro fishing Oh, my around God. Him. So That's he not, can it's gonna be brilliant. fish. Just electrify the water in his immediate vicinity. Caesar, double or nothing, he destroys his own golem. Yes. <laughs> all right. Instantly, a group of tritons and mermaids float to the sea. Uh, all right. So, first, roll a percentile okay. and don't get 5% or below. A three. Three percent? Um, it's not three. Bad. Three percent? Oh no, thirty. Sorry, thirty. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh okay. He, uh, he, uh, he, so uh, he continues to function. Um, roll three d six. Okay. Come on, clunk. Fish, fish to your heart's content. I got thirteen. Five, five, three. Thirteen. You know, kind of nice size fish. Uh, yes. Float, float yes. up to the surface and oh my clunk. God. Clunk can can scoop them up, and uh, and I don't know if you're going to have him boil them in his chest or what, but he for sure managed to not shut himself down and got 13 fish. Witness, Rihanna, I have revolutionized the, the fishing industry. I should go and tell Peter that he's out of a job. Read this. I am so impressed. That was amazing. That's good. Yes, well... What can I say? I, I'll cook the fish. Genius. We did one act of God already. We don't need to, to test our luck again. Right. Well, uh, Clunk, bring the fish back to shore. And, and he does. And I mean, he's a little slower than normal. One, because of the the disadvantage from moving in water. And two, because he at least now is partially full of water in his legs. Um, but yeah, he kind of with heavy thuds stomps back up and there's these little kind of pinhole leaks in his legs, probably from the damage jumping off the cliff earlier. Uh, but it just... <laughs> It just sounds like someone is going tinkle like for <laughs> minutes and minutes and minutes. I'm He's casting fine. prestidigitation constantly on the clunk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hand uh, Caesar is money. Like, well, all right. I like that you guys. You guys are just trading the same five gold like back and forth. Yep. You you have five gold with an R written on it, and that's your, your Redis yes, that's the Redis coin. <laughs> um. But yeah, so Cesar cooks up a, a fine, uh, a fine fish feast for all of you. It is it is quite delicious. And uh, are you guys going to rest in the bottle again? Yeah, I will. Uh, in the sand, I will bury it literally just underneath. What time's high tide? <laughs> <laughs> Do we all drown in a bottle if it's submerged? <laughs> we are the message in a bottle. <laughs> yeah, we we'll wake up in shelter or something. You know? <laughs> yeah. um, I'll go and put it somewhere safe, more closer to the 
So yeah, if you, you you can you can see kind of where the tide line is. If you move it up by the the base of the cliff, you you yeah. feel pretty pretty confident about that. I do that and then swash us all in. Are we able to uh, like do anything while we're in there? It's, yeah, it's basically like a a hut, you know. Okay. okay. I imagine so you can do it like a mansion. spell spell studies and prayers and stuff like that. Yeah, I, I was mean, gonna say yeah. seeing that yeah. Clunk's legs are a little uh, worse for wear after his fall. I was just going to spend some time casting mending on him okay. repeatedly. See, seal up the tinkle holes yeah. and uh, clear the sand out of his his joints. Patch him up a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll say that. Nice. We'll, we'll say that that's because because mending is a cantrip. Yeah, yeah? it's a cantrip. So I just you know we, with such a such a low level thing, you can uh, you can do that for quite some time. Even before you guys get in the 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 genie lamp, you can do that as well. So there's there's the night. What is it? Ryan says the night is long and full of errors. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, I will. So much stuff on my character. <laughs> like, I have, I have Wyvern Rider, and I can just make them my mounts. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Paladin Mount Wyvern would be awesome. Uh, all right. So then you guys are going to get a long rest in the bottle, and we, uh, lovely viewers. Uh, oh, so Peter, he has a uh, a golem. It's actually it's a steel protector, and it's clunk. Uh, it's clunk four. Clunk four. Yeah. yeah. As as um, Riel is being all nice and like healing up clunk, uh, Redis is penning his designs for clunk five <laughs> right within vision of clunk four. <laughs> and then he I'm... he looks at you, Riala, with with almost a sadness in his eyes, but. Redis didn't build in the emotion eyebrows into him, so maybe he's just looking at you stupidly. You can't really tell. <laughs> You're my favorite so far. Oh. Mm. <laughs> and with that, fisherman, he adds we are, <laughs> we're going to take a, a just a 10-minute bio break. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back. Uh, all right, so the next morning comes, and uh, you guys... Puff out of Carolus's sanctuary vessel, his his genie lamp, uh, and mm. it, everything looks fine. Um, no 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 wyverns, but uh, but yeah, it's just a, another beautiful morning. You guys, are, I, I will say, I, I feel like everyone, even though you're level ten, you've been around a lot. You're kind of impressed with how beautiful the mornings are here along the beach. It it's for hardened adventurers, even it's it kind of can't be overstated just how nice it is here mm. <clears throat> um all right and so you guys pack up look, and start a whole ass starfish it's crazy wow <laughs> look at that. mina That's where nice. did you find that <laughs> it was just on the beach this, this place is gorgeous oh cool <laughs> Like right there at the at the tourist thing with the south of souvenirs. The, yeah, there's a keychain right over there. They had drinks in coconuts. That's there's good. there's a keychain that says Riala. Do you want one? <laughs> oh, they actually have my name. They never have they, Riala. They, they, they spelled it wrong. They spelled oh, it wrong. Of course, of yeah. course, they never yeah. get it right. They spell it with I an e. I know. <laughs> um, never have Caesar. <laughs> Yeah, I love the fact. Yeah, you're looking, and they it is there, and it's spelled right. But you're like, is this is this is this Caesar? And they're like, no, it's Caesar. And you're like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Anything you guys want to do in the morning? Yeah, I want to open the genie book and give it to Clunk to carry with the genie open, so he can chill out with us as we walk. Okay. Um, Gazre, Gazre, Gazre. Uh, Gazri, yeah. Gazri, yeah. Um, he, uh, he, he uh, also is is bowled over by the the beauty of the morning and is very thankful that that you've allowed him to to see it. Mm. Uh, we'll read soon, my friend. Oh, I, that that would be that would be wonderful. You, uh, you, you, you do not know how much I I appreciate the the efforts you are going to. I think you uh, think that, but remember the the. The thing you said you'd given some coins. Ah, uh, ab absolutely, absolutely. Good. Uh, wait, wait, what again? The thing. Ah, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> I don't really get That's to joke. Right, you... I don't get to joke with people because I live in a book. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um. <laughs> all right. Anything else? You. We just want to head up. All right. 
So, uh, so day three, you know, is, is a, is a smooth and easy day, uh, which is after having fought <laughs> bandits that were not up to your snuff and unexpected wyverns, uh, it's kind of a nice, kind of a nice change. Um, I will say the, the further you go south, the, the beach itself is kind of growing narrower and you're forced to move further and further toward the cliff face to stay dry ish. Um, there's just less beach here. The, the it's you're gonna be wet at some point, but um, but the uh, but but for now you you can walk along and and stay mostly dry. Um, you guys travel for you know three four hours. You stop and you have a bite and kind of one of the last few really dry places. Have a bite of lunch and and continue on and and, and you can see. Off in the distance, Bertram. I think you have a spyglass. Yeah. Yeah. So you you guys can see off in the in the distance, and and Bertram will pass his spyglass around. It's just you start to see beautiful formations of of coral uh, out in the water, and the, and the water itself is is almost crystal clear. It is, it's amazing you, you to look down in and and then just see these gentle humps of of multicolored coral out there, and you feel like. You feel like you're on the right path, um, and uh, you finally get to a point where you're you're kind of knee deep in water. Uh, the the dry land has run out, but but off of the distance, maybe a couple hundred feet, you see what you would call a spire, and um, it it feels like it feels like you're you're on the right track. It looks maybe like it sticks about forty feet out of the water. Um, I uh sorry, I just, just clock in the chat there. Uh because it's getting narrow uh, with the water and stuff, can I get a marching order and I'll add you guys in that order to the next map and then uh, pop us all over there. Are we going out into the water to this? Well, you're line? you're going to be the, the spire is actually quite close to the cliff's edge. Um but the the map that we're going to there there's like a 5 foot section that is about knee or waist deep and then it kind of quickly drops off into much deeper and also very sharp coral mm. so i can give us all the ability to walk on water if we think that would be helpful no i got it something probably for this. might be a bit helpful i have something for this <laughs> all right you got something oh he's hey, got an idea oh. hold on oh, <laughs> oh, God. do you have an idea oh yeah i have an idea it might have made uh, more sense uh, a couple weeks ago during Passover, but I got I got <laughs> I got this. <laughs> okay. Um, this is the face of a DM who hasn't quite looked hard enough at his player's spells. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, okay. Go first in the marching order. I'll now go behind him. All right. So, hey, sir, Clunk... do you have a plan, or would you like me to cast walk on water? Oh. Water walking. If I do this right, we won't be walking on the water. All right, I'll let you go first. If you don't, I'll be plan B. How about that? There we go. <laughs> All right, so what's the marching order? Who's 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 going in first? I'm going first. All right, so Cesar, and then I'll who's go second? St I'll go second. Bertram. I'll go third. Careless. And then I guess Clunk and Reedus. Clunk, Reedus. And then I still have uh, Mina and Riala. I'll take the back. We'll just sandwich yeah. everybody in clerics. Yep. <laughs> mm. You know what? Cleric sandwich actually uh, sounds like a pretty good, <laughs> uh, a pretty good way to to have a marching order. Sounds yeah. like a good Saturday night to me. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Whew, getting the vapors again. Uh, bear with me just a moment, then I'll get everyone loaded on. Uh, Riala Mina. Meanwhile, Rita's... we are doing a dice giveaway for Kraken Dice, our sponsor. Exclamation mark, giveaway to enter. Mm. Um... I, 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 am, I am positively just like thrumming with excitement to see what these, all these ideas are of water walking and like... <laughs> No, we won't have to walk on the water if my idea works. <laughs> All right. 
Uh, real quick, Carolus or anyone else, does anyone else have Detect Magic available? Ooh, I might. I might as a ritual? I'm trying to prepare my spells for the day. I do have, I have it as a ritual. Okay. Do we need it mm, any more immediate than a ritual, or should I prepare something else? Uh, that's a good question. If we're heading into a wizard tower. You yeah. know what? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I think so, pack it. All right, let's take that one today. We'll be fine. All right. Nope, definitely take, definitely take it. Tech, magic or dispel and magic or anything. Got a crossbow. I got a crossbow and a steel golem. A all steel right. defender. <laughs> Sorry for uh, interrupting. Well, Continue. That's, that's all right. So you guys should be magically whooshed over to a new map. Crabs. So as I said, the um, the kind of the light blue areas is is just about like waist deep. And then the the darker blue areas, it it falls off, you know, kind of sharply. Uh, and there is also beautiful but very sharp looking coral uh, in the water. Mm. Detumble. Cesar, you're up. All right. Well, this is. Hold on. Let's see. Let's see how far we, we got. This is gonna be some shenanigans. Um, <laughs> uh, my, fa Expect my nothing favorite. Nothing less from you. <laughs> Shenanigans are my favorite. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, uh, Bertram, let me look at that spyglass from you one, one more time. Uh, sure. I'll hand it over. Um, can I see at least 100 feet out? Uh, a hundred feet to the south. Yeah. 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 Sure. I, I can actually. You guys are close enough uh, as well with your normal vision that I should probably reveal uh, some of this as well. But yeah, we'll say that you can see for sure. Uh, you know, and it'll go off the map, but we'll say that, that for sure you can see 100 feet. Cool. All right. Um, <laughs> so, uh, Cesar... This is, this is my shenanigans face, everyone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Cesar um, pulls his trident out, like spikes it into the ground, um, uh, and... Um, he says, says to the party, um, but, but we're going to need to do this with a quickness. Um, and like praise into his trident, uh, Calypso, part these seas for me. And I cast control water, uh, using, um, part, uh, using part water. So, uh, in a hundred foot cube, um, yeah, I control any freestanding water inside any area that in, is a cube up to a hundred feet, um, on a side. So I'm thinking I can make a path for us through here so we're not uh, wading through water. Okay. Let's get moving then. How long does it last, Caesar? 10 minutes. Oh, well, that's fine. <laughs> I say 10 Is that concentration? Uh, yes. Man, there's just so much text in the spell. All right, I'm going to leave it yep. to you to manage what happens with it. Uh, oh, that's about making a vortex. God, you yeah, yeah, vortex you can too. get a vortex. I can flood, I can part water, and I can make a whirlpool. Holy Jesus. <laughs> All right, so you're going to make a 100-foot cube that it goes down and then kind of 100 feet out? Yeah. Um, I'm think. If I if if that works how I how I think it works, um, it's gonna go down and then like out to like give us a, like out towards the ocean to give yeah, us okay. a, a way to walk. Uh, yeah, it, you guys have certainly foiled that entry part of the plan. It, uh, <laughs> That's our job. So, so tell me tell me what the water does when you when you when you pray to Calypso. Tell me tell me what happens to it. Um. My eyes glow. The trunks of the of the trident glow, and like the waves, like start crashing up towards the shore, but then start moving back further and further and further until like there's this roiling, continuously moving wave, making a wall um, against the sea, 
taking all the well, all the water from from the shoreline so we can see the ground and move forward. Roll me a percentile, please. Now I'm scared. <laughs> nah, don't be scared. Percentile times four. Um, 40? 40, so 160. You guess when you look out at kind of this, where the water used to be, there's at least 140 different kind of fish and sea creatures who are laying now on the coral that uh that are no longer in in their water environment and they're they're choking to death but uh, you know you guys got to find this thing so who gives a shit about all the fish i guess <laughs> you only, only have one a, thing i hate more than wizards it, and it's fish <laughs> you, i mean you have a water god but you know I'm, that's I'm, fine I'm just, I'm just gonna whisper into the mama you're supposed to take the fish with you when you took the water out <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's why the percentile. They, some of them did. Some of them did. They're like, oh, we got to go. We spend all ten minutes putting fish into walls. Of <laughs> Just like blast it with gust of wind. Does Mel uh, say that the water slowly starts to fill back in, so maybe they won't be flopping for too long? Okay. Ten ten minutes is a long time. Uh, no, it it starts filling in right away. Like, okay, slowly. okay. It says like by the next round. So I think like every six seconds it'll be like a little more water yeah so. it, it's fine i just wanted to flavor it some you're, you're not in you're not in danger of being put out by your god but yeah so so he has created a uh a, a dry a dry patch here that that you can you can come up to uh what you imagine is is here which you figure to be the spire hmm. okay all right just, as we walk bertram's just grabbing fish along the way and Tossing them back into the water, <laughs> back into the wall of water. Is there any particularly cool fish that we see, like an octopus or a sea turtle, or like? No, octopus are smart, uh, and sea turtles <laughs> are also smart. They're right. not like rank and file fish. I mean, or hmm. like sea cucumbers, the, just yeah. You know? the, these fish are pretty, but that's as far as it goes. Okay, cool. <laughs> They've got like a 20 charisma and like a two int. So like, like all of us I'm here. I'm in love with this fish. Very pretty, nothing upstairs. <laughs> I just think it's yeah. incredible that this group spent the last 10 minutes talking about the fish. This is, this is really <laughs> <cool>. <laughs> Priorities. Uh, uh, okay, so yeah, you guys can, can walk, uh, can walk right up to it. it. Let's go. Yeah. No. Let's do this. When we get there, what was the next instruction? Look east. We are to look back toward the shore. Right. Look landward, and we will see the mouth of a cave. This should be the entrance to Zikram's laboratory. Zikram, your time is coming. Wait. Let's go and find him. The spire isn't the laboratory? No, the spire is the where we orient ourselves to look back to try to find the mouth of the cave. I'm so confused already. All right, I'll just follow Don't you think guys. Don't too hard, Bertie. It's okay. <laughs> you just Made our way to the spire. spire, then. So you guys should be able to move your tokens. You keep saying that you move up there, but I've uh, not seen sorry. any oh, tokens okay. no, where, move. Oh, okay. Where, where, where ah. So. <laughs> I thought you were going to do that, 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 like, group thing you did before. Clint's uh, going to stay there, because if it fills in this water, he's not getting out. He's too heavy. Uh, all right, so which... Uh, which, what do you guys do when you get here? Look, Look east. for the cave. And sure enough. You can. I'm guessing it's going to be in poly, this black space. Polygon, <laughs> polygon reveal. Ooh. You guys can absolutely see uh, into the more mouth crabs. of the cave. Yeah, for sure more crabs. Um, <laughs> All the crabs. And uh, and and I'm gonna say that Clunk over here, for sure, like stepped on a crab. Oh, that's uh, fine. It happens. Is it? So it's, he stepped. He stepped on that one in the rear, and the one in the front is uh, is actually going to make an attack on Clunk. This is oh, Zikram's no. high tech <laughs> crab <laughs> alert system. <laughs> yeah, exactly what I was saying. The, each crab is an alarm. Yeah. All right really? here. I'm actually You're, rooting for the crab. <laughs> Come on, let's do it. Uh, all right, he has plus zero to hit, and okay. he rolled a seven. It's a miss, or probably not a miss so much as it just doesn't do anything. Uh, I'll say, clunk, 
retaliate, and he'll arcane jolt the crab. Just like zap it with his finger and blow Yum. it up. Uh, yeah, I rolled it. Rolled a hit. And I have to hit. Well, okay, hit. He has to hit with a move to do that. So. Um, oh well, he could just try to stomp. I mean. Yeah, he'll arcane stomp it. So. <laughs> I think that makes sense. That's the newest I'm dance just thinking move. I think it's hilarious in... that we're rolling for this against a crab. No. Yeah. <laughs> uh, against a common yeah. crab. Well, he may miss. I, this, I don't know if this crab has uh, got high AC or not. So um, he <laughs> gets a, 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 three, a, a three. Yeah, plus, no, a oh, three. Oh, hang on. A three plus his my proficiency bonus. So a seven. Seven will not hit. Uh, uh, gosh, just, however <laughs> crab and clunk just just uselessly swinging at each other that, really that's much. that's the next spin-off tv show is crab and clunk crab. Um, <laughs> uh, okay so however by by setting off a chain of events um everyone Uh, all right, I am going to roll some two hits for all of you in order, and you simply just tell me whether it hits or it does not hit. All right, this is for Carolus. Um, 11. Missed. Is this the crabs? Told you, high-tech crab it's, alarms. It's, <laughs> it's, it, it's too early in the round for you to tell exactly what it is. Does that hit okay. Carolus? No. Okay. Um, Riala. Also, uh, I'm sorry, a 14. Miss. Uh, Cesar, an 18. Miss. Mina, an 18. Uh, yeah, that gets me. Uh, oh. All right, you, you are grappled. Uh, That's not some, nice. Some strong bloody crabs. Read us. <laughs> Uh, 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 math, 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 23. Uh, yeah, that definitely gets it. You are grappled. Clunk. Uh, 22. Uh, that is a hit, yeah. He is grappled. Bertram. Oh, Bertram. 26. <laughs> Bad hits. You are grappled. And if you would, Aww. everyone... Go ahead, make sure you click your token and oh, roll yeah. for initiative. Oh, I rolled a zero. Oh, God. <laughs> this is. Oh. Oh, man. God. Oh, come on, I... people, roll higher. I don't want <laughs> I to. Rolled, I rolled a nat one. Mm, this is. Oh, oh good no. old, good old one. 8.16. That everybody in? Yeah, Riella. <laughs> <laughs> Show him what's up. Hey, going first. You can do it. Descending. All right, Riala, you uh, you you see that there are these tentacles had just like whipped out at all of you uh, in what was the surprise round, uh, and you see that uh, Bertram and Redis and Clunk are grappled. Oof. Okay. And me. Uh, I'm sorry. And Mina. So there are four. Four of your party are grappled by tentacles. By I tentacles. I will Ugh. cast Spirit Guardians. Okay. So, um, so we're at, like coming out from me in a wave, you'll see little um, like glowing, floating specks of like stars and suns and moons just little like um like a galaxy effect sort of floating around me um and that is my spirit guardians what's the radius on that um it's 15 feet i can put it on there if you like oh yeah i was gonna say you should be able to set an aura and i think yeah. i have it set so that everyone can see it boom um all right so refresh me again on the spirit guardians um okay so they flit around me at a distance of 15 feet um i can designate any number of creatures i see to be unaffected obviously that would be the party okay an affected creature what about the crabs an affected <laughs> kill those crabs Ooh. no i think i i don't trust those crabs after they fought clunk actually yeah. 
Um, <laughs> he stepped on one. You guys they, killed but the they crab might wife. Be, they might be Zikram's alarm system. No, yeah, no true. joke. Yeah, so that's true. They're not safe. Um, affected creature speed is halved in the area. When a creature enters the area for the first time or starts their turn there, they make a wisdom save and then take damage based okay. on fail or, su okay. or, or success. Awesome. Um, and then let me see if I have anything for a bonus action. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and... Um, no, I won't. I don't have anything else. So... I guess I'll just stay right where I am because I feel like I've got the spirit guardians kind of around everybody. So that's okay. it. Alrighty. Careless. Uh, again, he will use the bonus action hex on the uh, the vines. Uh, on which tentacle? Um, the one directly in front next to Clunk. So you know, the one... not revealed these yet, but he, yeah, so we can't see these. I don't know if it's intentional. It's it's a little bit intentional, but you're probably right. I should. Uh, I mean, if they're grabbing, me... you would see it. Something. Just, yeah, <clears throat> that's that's true. That's true. Well, that's true. Um. Da -da -da. So yes, I will. I really like the multi-point uh, reveal tool, but man, it takes a long time to click <laughs> round points. Hey, look at these guys. Um, I need battle music. Yeah. We do, we do. Sorry, it's just not in my... I will start rolling to hit. I'm going to attack it at one. You're going to attack the tentacle that is on Clunk, okay? I'm going to fire two at that. I rolled a 13 and a 4, so that is 15 and 24. Uh, the 15 misses, but the 24 hits. Okay, so the 24 will be... Yeah, so that is 9, 14, 18, 20 damage. Okay, that uh, that tentacle severs and no longer... Clunk is no longer grappled. Oh, wow. I need you guys, though, because there, uh, there's a lot going on on my side. Please keep track of your grapple status. Uh, and you can set it on your token, your icon, or you can just keep track of it but i'm uh <laughs> you'll see why in a minute there's a lot going on yeah. uh all right so what else careless uh that's me done my, that's my bonus action and if the creature can be moved it moves 10 feet back into the cave uh okay hmm. so now it is uh this lower guys turn down here so, i don't know if it moves or not uh it, it you did not see anything move um i, I would say the tentacle the, the tentacle that you hit that you severed lifelessly you kind of did blow it away okay. um so this uh the slower guy you guys can't see his dot color can you let me, no. let, me, let me just do that so you when i talk about their colors you know So that should give you the two dot colors. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Okay, purple and orange. Uh, all right, so it's purple's turn. Purple is going to use the his grasping tentacle attack. Um, he's going to do a tentacle at Cesar. Uh, 15. Does not. A... Another tentacle at Redus. 18. That's a hit, yeah. All right, so you are actually grappled by two tendrils from oh this boy, one. Oh boy, they like me. Um, Bertram. 17. Um, 24. Yep. So you are grappled one from the blue, one from the orange, and one from the purple. So you actually okay. grappled a tentacle from each of them. Uh, Carolus, oh, you're the lucky son of a bitch. Uh, 10 to hit you. Uh, all right, Redus, he is going to use his ability called Reel and will pull you 25 feet. 
Okay. I can up to him. Oh boy, that's gonna get me, yeah. Um, Goodbye, folks. And he is going to use his bite attack on you. Oh, gosh. Okay. Uh, oh, dude, that is a crit. Oh, my word. Okay. I guess that hits. <laughs> <laughs> it it unfortunately does. Um, <laughs> wow. Uh, oh, my goodness. Six. Accursed wizard yeah, minions. Says, uh, Trifling wizards. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Only a wizard would fall so low as to employ the use of these horrible creatures. 49 piercing damage. Oh my oh god. Shit. Okay, Aridus is not healthy. Oh, right, that minus four. Not healthy folk. But he's okay. He's, he's alive. <laughs> as it takes a giant chunk out of him. Uh. Yeah, and uh, that's his turn. Ooh. So, oh, Mina, boy. you are grappled, is that correct? I am grappled. So you you can uh, make an attack at uh, a disadvantage, or you can try to break the grapple. Okay. Um, mm, um, I feel like I'm just going to... I'm going to try and wriggle free, maybe. Are you going to try to break the grapple? Yeah. Alright, so that I need a strength check, please. Um can I I'm just oh god. Is it a is that a twenty? D twenty? Yes, it's a D twenty. <sighs> okay. <laughs> god. That's all right. So roll a roll a D twenty and add your strength modifier. Okay, what is my strength modifier? Okay, it's that. Okay. <sighs> Will a sixteen work? A sixteen, you you managed to break free <laughs> of the hold of the tendril. Thank God. <laughs> okay, cool. Don't like uh, me down, man. Don't yeah, like I hear down. you. Bon bonus action. Ah, that. Haha. -ha. Um. Indeed. One second. Um. Bonus action. God. Duh. Um. Uh, hex. Yeah, I'm gonna do hex. Yep. Yep. That's happening. Um. So that's a d20. Whoa. Sorry, I have to look at the thing. Where's the hex? Where is it? Where are you? There you are. Cool. So what, tell me tell me what you're hexing. Um, I am hexing the purple dude. So you're hexing purple specifically? Yeah. Okay. And um, can I go for both of them? How do you mean go for both? Blast because you can choose two targets. Well, she's used her action to break the grapple. Oh, okay. Of course. Yeah. And then okay. you bonus action. So did you hit with your hex on purple? You, you um, I got a... Yeah, you just cast you, it. You just, you, oh, it just, you've already I saw it. it just lands. Yeah. Okay. I see. Got it. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So, it, it, so it, it's hex, but it's not damage. Is that true? It's, it's yeah, it's, yeah. It, it works just like Hunter's Mark. It's when you attack them, it deals gotcha, bonus gotcha, damage. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. So okay. he so I just, is hexed. I, I just have to roll my d6, yeah? Well, no, he's just, when, the next time you attack him and deal damage, you'll do an extra d6. Yes. Because oh. you spent your action to break the grapple, break through Got the grapple. Uh, okay, there, anything else my... you want to you wanna, you wanna move at all? Um, sure. Um, yeah, let me... Oh God! How how far away? What are we? Where are we at? Who am you're I? Pretty What's much at on? the back anyway. Yep. Yeah, yes, you're at you're at the back. So, and you um, could run out further to see, but that's not going to go well for you. No. Um. So, how about I just move a bit closer to uh, Redis here? See if I can help him. Okay. Stop it, thing. You okay. have to change back to the pointer to yep, actually move I, your dude. I, I saw that. Thank. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm there. I'm done. Is that complete? All right. Cesar. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, let's see here. Um, do you have a, a 20 foot cone? Uh, yeah, I should be able to. Tell me, tell me what you're, uh, I want to cast Ice Storm. 
Oh, cold cone. 45, 20 feet. 45, 20 feet. Yeah, just going to resize it. Because um, my, I, because if I, if I drop it um, here. Well, it's a cone. It has to originate from you. It's not a cone. You said cone. It's a column. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Geometry. A cylinder. Shapes. That's it. That's that thing. Yeah. <laughs> I see. What's that? 20, 20 foot radius. Yes. What was that about the Pythagorean theorem earlier? Mm. <laughs> I mean, I didn't want to do it then. <laughs> So they have to deck 15, 20, 20. See, I knew, I, I was like, you know, he's not going to cast all these spells. All right, where would you like it centered? Um, Right here, if it can hit both of them and not hit my people. So you're going to well, have to go if, a little further back to not thank, hit us. Yeah, thank if you, you center it there, that's uh, what you're going to get into. See, th- that's <laughs> why I needed the visual aid. No, let's move it back some. Like, uh, yeah, like that. Like, Three hundred feet. Yeah, no, I'll put it right in that cave, and anything else in there can get can eat it too. <laughs> can, um. can, can eat it too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so tell me what I need to do on this. Uh, uh, you need to make a dexterity saving throw. Ooh, that's not super good for me. All right, <laughs> this is orange. Orange has a six. Uh, purple has a 13. Uh, neither save. And 17. 17 saves. All right. So that's gonna be 10, um, 10 bludgeoning damage. And, um, 14 cold damage. To so, to or to orange and purple. Yeah. All right. So it's four. I'm sorry. Fourteen and ten to twenty four damage. Yes. Half to twelve for the one that made the save. Okay. Just updating my hit points here. Minus twenty four. And. So the one that did save is minus 12. All right. Um, uh, Okay, also... Everyone that is currently grappled, except for Redis, is no longer grappled. Redis, you still have one of the tentacles. One of them did get get burned off or colded off. (laughs) Um... (laughs) So is this a persistent spell, Cesar? It's, it's not. It's uh, just one action. It's just a one and done. Okay. Yeah. Um, oh, it's, all those fucking crabs are dead. <laughs> uh, Death to the crabs. Yeah. <laughs> Crab killers. I, I'm, I'm going to anticipate that you're going to use that again, so I'm just going to pull it to the side over here. <laughs> it, it, it is difficult terrain until the end of your next turn. Yeah, just if that add, makes, okay. If that yeah, makes just a difference. Add as well, the one I hexed is hexed with a strength debuff. A strength debuff, okay. Yeah, so it won't affect saving throws, but it will affect things like grapple. Uh, yeah. Obviously, it probably automatically grapples, but I'm talking about for those trying to break the grapple. That would help. Yeah. So they will they will get advantage on it then. Well, um, the ropers are at disadvantage, I believe. Yeah. Well, they have a DC, a set DC, so that the oh, only okay. way to offset that then would be to give the breaker advantage. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yes. It, it, yes. Big B zero zero seven. It is a crab massacre. Um, mm. Calypso is not going to be pleased. Well, look, we'll have, we'll have a boil and we'll make it right. All right. The flash froze it. It means it's going to be fresh. We open the crab shack. Everything will be fine. The uh, anything else, Cesar? I'm breaking out my shield. 
so my free hand, I got I've got the the trident holding back the uh, the ocean in one hand, and I'm pulling out my shield in the other one. Okay. Oh, gosh, uh, yeah, I forgot that you're still holding the water up around. <laughs> you. Oh God! How did you get hit? <laughs> so that broke the uh, the grapple you said. Uh, yes, yes, you were no longer, no longer grappled. Perfect. Uh, pull the sword and just, actually, instead of doing that, I want to try to get down toward next to Redis. So I can okay. try to, try to defend him if I can. Anyway, I'm going to try to wail on this purple one. Okay. So... Two attacks. Let's do the sword first. Oh, sword no. is a 24. 24 hits. And a darn it. Uh, 14 for an unarmed strike. Uh, 14 will not hit. Okay. So the, the first sword hit is just four points of damage. Okay. And I will spend the key point to Flurry of Blows. Okay. And I've got a 23 and a 15. 23 hits, the 15 does not. Okay. It's another eight points of damage. Okay. And I'll spend the key point to Stunning Strike. Okay. Uh, which is, was that con save? I don't know what your ability. <laughs> uh, yep, con save. I think it's a con save. Con save DC 13. Well, that's a nine. He's stunned. Uh, stunned until... The end the, of my next turn. The end of your next. Ooh, all right, that's... Yeah. Does that mean not... you're still grappling me, or...? Ooh. No, you know, I'm going to say the grapple falls off because yes. he's stunned. Aha. Um, yes. And... Trying to find a, a suitable icon for... what stunned looks like. We're just going to give him the sleepy face. That's what I was thinking. I was like, good, are there good sleepy face. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was that was a pretty uh, All right. pretty not incredible. A of, not a lot of damage, but the stun stun pays off. So yeah, absolutely. Uh, that's you. That's me. All right. So now it's Orange's turn. Uh, Orange needs to make a wisdom save. Pray tell why. My spirit guardians, when he starts his turn in my spirit guardians. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's, it, I'm going to go in level with Yami. It's not good. Um, <laughs> what uh, what happens to me? Um, 3d8. 3d8, all right. Yeah, so Whoa. I rolled 12 damage for that. Whoa. Um. Uh, okay. That that's all that happens to him. Yeah, that's it. I just it, it's when he starts his turn, and I know you're keeping track of a lot of things. So. For sure, for sure. All right. So, uh, tentacle attacks, Carolus. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, Cesar. Uh, Sixteen. Nope. God, I wish they were smarter. Uh, <laughs> Bertram 13 Miss Riala uh, That is actually a 22 That will hit You are grappled He will use real And pull you 25 feet towards him. Cool, he just put his friend in my spirit guardians. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I told you I wish he was smarter. Uh, and then he will use bite. Oh, I want Clunk to use a reaction. 
um, which is called um, the, 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 the Deflect Attack. Uh, defender imposes disadvantage on an attack roll of one creature it can see within five feet of it, provided the attack roll is not against the Iron Defender itself. So it rolls with disadvantage with this bite. Okay. I knew I liked you, Clunk. Better than Nin- reading. <laughs> uh, 19. Uh, 19 uh, meets my armor class. All right, Contest. roll off. Contest. Oh, which Nine. Means? 13. Oh, All right. Cool. He uh, it, th- from from the the wisdom save that he had to make, he's still a little <laughs> like clearing clearing his uh, his face and uh, does not manage to bite you. A picture of opening its mouth and then clunk just grabbing <laughs> both. Before <laughs> it clunks down, I just pat clunk. <laughs> well, Re- Reedus is so useless compared to Clung. <laughs> you know? uh, well, let's see how useless you are. Reedus, it is your turn now. And okay. uh, Riella, you are grappled still. So he is stunned, this guy, so I can walk yeah. away from him with no punitive action. I'm going to get a bit away from everything here and go over there. 15 feet of movement. And then I feel like I'm going to start doing some other stuff that's more useful so uh i'm going to cast heroism on nice who is it touch range not heroism sorry haste of course oh, uh, okay. no effect on these things uh within 30 feet so i'm going to cast it on mina who i imagine is going to want to throw a bunch of eldritch isn't it more than so. just one more than one person for heist if i cast it at a higher level but oh, i'm okay. not casting at a higher level yeah, so just uh, choose a willing creature you can see. Nice. So until uh, it, it says um, it can take an extra action to attack as well, but it says uh, one weapon attack. Does that apply to Eldritch Blast? Or? No, it has to be a weapon okay, attack. Okay, yeah. Maybe not on Mina then. I'll do it on Bertram. Yes. Yeah, because yeah. the monk needs more attacks. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Always. I think of who this is best on. Maybe on Real. I don't know. Oh, I'll no, I think Monk's Hasted is a great. Yeah, okay, that's good. yeah. Yeah, un- unfortunately for me, it is that is a good move. Um, okay. All right, anything else for you, Rita? That's my turn. Oh, I'll move Clunk down to here. He acts on my initiative, and I can use him to move, and he'll take the dodge action because he can do that as a bonus action that I can do. So, okay. All right, so this guy is going to make his attacks. Um, Mina, uh, that is uh, 22. Which one's attacking? Yep. Yellow. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, wow, they got some reach. Yellow attack? Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yep, you are grappled. That's not uh, cool. Cesar. Yeah. Um. 21. Meets it. <laughs> Roll it. Oh. 15. 16. Oh, you ah! lucky bastard. Ah! Oh, you lucky bastard. <laughs> uh, read us. Oh, boy, they're still going for me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 26. Well, yeah. <laughs> Gravel. Carolus. What, what? Yellow can reach Seven. me out there. He can't see me. He's got 50 foot reach. I didn't think he could see me. Oh, yeah. He can see you, baby. Uh, it's all right. He only, rolled, he only rolled a 17, so I don't think that's going to hit you. Uh, all right. Mina, he's going to use real on you. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And he is going to use bite. Uh, 15. Yeah. Oh, 15 no. hits? Yep. Ooh. Damn. Like, Why do you hate me? Looks like I've got to change my action. <laughs> right? <laughs> 25 points of piercing damage. Jesus. Okay. Whoa. He must have rolled so well when he hit me earlier. I, I got four. Well, he critted. He you critted. Gotta, yeah, him. he crit you. Yeah, of course, yeah. Right, okay, never mind. <laughs> So in case anyone's missing, 
Ryan's puns, he's blowing the chat up with them. He is on fire. He is on fire. <laughs> like the two weeks, the three weeks he has not been DMing, it's just all, all balled up inside him. Yep. Uh, Riala, you are still grappled. Okay. Um, that's okay, because grapple doesn't, like, I can still do stuff when I'm grappled. Yeah, you can, you can attack at disadvantage. Um, um, now, is the attacking no. at disadvantage a special of the ropers grappled? Yeah, because the regular grapple condition doesn't affect attacks. Is that true? Yeah. Oh, I, 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 may be yeah. Inc- I may be incorrect then. Speed becomes zero. That's its only effect. If but much. other than that. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. No, it's it is not a special grapple. You. That is correct. Your speed is zero. Okay. Yes. 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 I'm sorry. Um, so you, it is not at disadvantage. Redis, you are right directly behind me. Correct. Uh huh. Um, I'm going to cast Cure Wounds. Just going to reach out and grab. Redis and cast Cure Wounds. You got hit pretty bad earlier, right? Yeah, yeah. he's he's about dead. Yeah, okay. Let me I'm see that. I'm fine, really. Uh, you, you, <laughs> you always see that. I know. I'm going to cast it at um, fourth level. Oh, wow. I was trying to put the grapple onto... Uh... Onto me, but I, I, hit points back I don't have any idea Thank what you. symbol you guys are using. Thank you very much. I wonder much. if I have different symbols. Mm-hmm. Are they using like a, a hand claw? Yeah. Yeah, That's like right. a little hand. Because I picture these tentacles to have little hands on the end. Uh, no, that's not yeah. terrifying. I hate them yeah. so much. <laughs> yeah, they can have that. That's fine. Like tiny little baby hands. Tiny, <laughs> little, tiny little hands. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, Riala, anything else? Um, that's it. All right, Carolus. Uh, Carolus, seeing Mina get dragged in, gets a little bit upset because he was laughing at... Um, Redis' um, misfortune. Although he didn't want his friend to die, he just decided to change his spell. Uh, looks at me. You attacking me? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> he was he was chuckling to himself when you got pulled over and sort of munched on. But then he thought, well, I don't want him to die. He's my friend. Uh, seeing Mina now in trouble, he points to Mina, and um, I suggest it's time to bite, and. Mina takes a different form if she chooses to accept it. Ah. What am I doing? (laughs) She turns into a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Yes! (laughs) Is Is that a a large creature? It's huge. Is a huge bit in there? Hold on. Hold on. Let me get my arms in. Let me get the arms in. Let me check. I think it's 12 foot ceilings in there. So she might have to bend over. Oh, boy. Is this I a mean, polymorph? I, I, can ch- I can change that. If she's in water, I can change that. Oh, yeah, that. She'll, she'll be in water. No, you, you know what? In water with a 12-foot ceiling, she could be a T-Rex right there. Yeah. I think she'd yes. look good as a T-Rex right there. So he, she suddenly changes <laughs> into a T-Rex. Uh, I could do the attacks for you if you need me when it comes down to it. Um, <laughs> okay. Wait, looks- does that mean I'm not grappled anymore? Oh, well, you're bigger uh, than like a T Rex. Uh, no, you're still grappled. Holy That's cow. I mean, cool. It's, it, it's real tight in there. You're you're not super comfortable. Uh, Got it. But my guess is you're not going to have any trouble breaking his grapple. Okay. You could probably just bite him and stuff. It's fine. Um, <clears throat> he then look at the orange, and just crush his fist as he does a uh, maddening hex on him for. Okay. For five damage. That's my bonus action. For five damage? Um, yeah, it's not classed as an attack, so. Okay. <clears throat> Let me and, just double so check. Does, is that a persistent hex like regular hex? So that's my, just a my normal hex. Well, I've got Madden hex. It's a warlock ability that adds to my hex. Hex is on the purple. My, uh, no, that's um, <clears throat> that's Mina's hex is on purple. 
which he's oh. probably got to make a con save for as well. Um, my hex is on orange. I see. I did not clock that. Yeah. Stunning. I mean, you got change damn it, warlocks. So it doesn't no, no, matter no, either that's... way. Um, <clears throat> no, as a bonus action, you can fire a deal five physical damage to the target cursed by your hex or other cursing warlock feature um, that I can see within 30 feet of me. Um, and it also, oh, hang on, and also to creatures of your choice within five foot of the cursed target. Yeah. You are attacking me. Uh, no one's within <laughs> my uh, Yeah, I mean, there is one crab that Clunk was fighting with, but... Yeah, I kill that. that that's uh, okay. my <laughs> Take that. Um, so that is basically my bonus action. And, and, and I don't get hex damage on that, I believe. Let me just quickly double check. Um, hex, uh, hex, Madeline, hex. why don't you roll a con save for me? Is that a d20? Yes, D twenty okay. plus plus they're, your Constitution modifier. It's actually a con save. Yeah. It's a con save. Yeah, D twenty uh -huh. is the main die. Yeah. So okay. from from your I'm... D and D B sheet, you can roll a con save. Okay, you don't want me to do it on the thing. You can do okay. whatever you like. Okay. I don't know. I've been having good such good luck with the Kraken dice. <laughs> <laughs> Did I do it accidentally? No, that was Jade. Okay. Uh, okay. Decision. Go. Bleh. Oh. <clears throat> He's a level little Kraken again. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 you still have your, your hex going. You're, you're fine. Uh, what, what were those for, Jade? Um, they're just the spells I cast. He wouldn't have taken five gotcha. damage from me because obviously when I cast Polymorph, that drops my hex. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I see. So he's also not hexed anymore. Correct. Okily dokily. Anything else for you, sir? No, I'm good. All right. It is purple. Uh, Cesar. 19. Eat it. No. <laughs> <laughs> Cesar again. <laughs> 18. Ah! <laughs> which, which roper is this? Uh, purple. Oh, purple's got to make a save. Yeah. A wisdom save. Yeah. Wisdom save, yeah. Uh, it's not good. No, it's uh, 16. Uh, that meets the DC. I think purple oh, is stunned. No. It is. it is it is still stunned yeah oh that's right um that's right sorry that... sorry sorry all right so we'll we'll when i enlarged her token it, it covered all my status yeah, markers already, <laughs> status mark. <laughs> uh, you are correct you are correct so he has no actions mm -hmm. he's stunned the but... save dc on this says save dc 17. for does that go for hex as well or no if it's your spell save dc Unless it's a sick no, 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 thing. It's, you save, you, the DC is usually 10, or depending on what damage you take, so. Yeah, it's it's 10 or or half the damage that oh, you took. concentration. Yeah. Uh, How much damage did you take? Okay. So yeah, but you should be fine. Are you asking? It was, it was 20, 20 something damage. It was 25 damage, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so the DC it's, would it, be 12. Yeah, and she rolled a, she rolled a 20 plus her pluses. Oh, yeah, more than enough. Uh, yeah, I, so I forgot. Roper, Roper Purple is stunned, unfortunately. So, Mina, it is your turn. Um, he did, even though he passed my save, he takes half damage, so he still takes six damage from my... Six damage. Energy. Got it. Minus six. Uh, it is your turn now, Mina. Okay, um, Oh, so... okay. If it's Mina's turn, right, yeah. your bite is plus yeah. ten to hit. <laughs> All right, and yeah. I'll, once you hit it, I'll tell you what you do. She's, just, which which one is she attacking? I, she has to bite the one in front of her. Uh, yeah, I have okay. to. I have to. I don't. I don't say. Oh, yellow. I have to bite yellow. Yeah, I just rolled a nine. Plus ten to hit. Wait. Yeah, a nineteen. So it's twenty nine to hit. So it's four d twelve plus seven piercing damage. Ooh. Holy Whoa. shit! One d twelve plus seven. Four d twelve. Four d twelve. Jesus Christ. Uh, um, let me just do that on here. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's. 
is it a medium or small creature? But it is compared to you. It's large. Yeah. It's large. That. So it so it, it's it is smaller. Yeah. That. But right there. Sorry, doesn't Plus matter. seven, so like twenty seven. Yeah. 20, okay, so that's twenty seven, and then you also get plus ten on your tail attack, which has to be done to a creature behind you. Nice. With advantage. So, so do it against stunned. purple. With it's advantage, advantage and stunned. it's hexed. And it's hexed. So roll and it's hexed each. with your hex, yes. So Sorry. roll the hit. Plus roll 10 to hit on the tail attack. Sorry, there's too many people talking at once. Um, what am I rolling? <laughs> Plus 10 to hit on a d20. Plus 10 to with hit on advantage. a d20. With advantage. So, so roll, roll twice. Two, yeah, 2d20 two d20. because you have it at advantage. Roll 2d20, okay. So a 15, so the 15 is your highest, plus 10 is a 25 to hit. That absolutely hits him. Yeah, and that is 3d8 plus 7 plus a d6 from your hex. 3d8 plus 7. Yeah. Plus 21 so that's six. 21 plus, plus a d6. d6. So 27. No, not plus 6, plus a d6. Yeah. Plus a d6, Jesus. Yeah. So 3d8, okay. 1d6, and plus 7 to, to damage. Okay. Three. 20, 24. There we yeah. go. Nice. Big damage. So too that many numbers. We got it. That was way too many numbers. <laughs> that was, that was a big G-O. hit. That yes. was a big hit. Uh, and it, you want to roar at one just for for shits and giggles? Of course. No, like like yeah. Jurassic Park style. Like. Wah! Yeah. This yeah. thing does. Yeah. This thing does. This thing doesn't really care. Because, uh, you know, when you're a T-Rex. Yeah. <laughs> the, the party's probably experienced this before. He's probably... I hope so. Do this, so. <laughs> Otherwise, I just think it's her ability. <laughs> uh, Mina. We call this the Mina Rex special. <laughs> Mina Rex! <laughs> Cesar. Yeah. Um, uh, so seeing Mina Rex roar at um, at one of them, at the, one of the ropers, uh, Cesar is going to fall suit and, like... Uh, pull his um, his seal that is in his trident together, um, because I'm a war caster. I can cast with my hands full. Um, he's gonna cast guiding bolts um, on orange over there. Okay. And it comes out of his mouth. Like the bolt comes out of his mouth. <laughs> of course it does. <laughs> um, twenty four. That hits. Yeah. And I'm doing this at a uh, second level. So it's going to be 5d6. I think that's right. 5, 5d6? Good God. Yeah, level 1 yes. is 4d6. Yeah, second level 5d6. Yep. On which one? Orange, you said? Orange, Orange. yeah. Okay. Uh, 10, 18. 18 damage. Nice. As, Very nice. Does that give uh, advantage to the next person? I can't move if yeah. that's that spell. Yep. Yeah, so the next attack on orange has during this round, or before Rodney's next round, has advantage on the attack. Wow. All right. Anything else, sir? Uh, nope, that's it. Bertram. Okay. I'm hasted, so I've got a lot of stuff. Bear with me. Okay. Oh, my God. I love this. <laughs> <laughs> I, each one of my guys has six attacks every round, so yeah. I'll bear with you. I'm going to go and have a nap. Just give me a shot. <laughs> first, I'm going after purple. So with the sword, first attack, uh, 25. 25 hits. Um, 11 points of damage. Well, he, you have advantage. Did you roll that at advantage? I did. I'm rolling two at a time. Okay, crit, crit yep. fishing. Yep. So I'm sorry, how much damage? 11 on that first one. Okay. Uh, second attack. Also on purple? Also on purple. Um, is a 24. 24 hits. And I'm going to burn a divine smite. Yeah, you are. Extra damage on this one. Yeah, you are. Oh, that's not great damage, though. Um, 13 total. Okay. Okay. I uh, hasted action with the, with the sword. Uh, it's still a 21. 21 hits. Man, suck. Five damage. Uh, okay, so that's all my regular actions. Uh, bonus actions. Let's go ahead and 
Flurry of Blows again. Okay. You see if you can stun lock him. Yeah. All right. So first Flurry of Blows. Natural 20. There we go. That's what I've been looking for. (laughs) Uh, Which means if I've hit this, oh, is Divine Smite once per turn? Yes, I believe so. Someone check, but I believe it is. I'm going to double check right now. I think so. Because, um... Unless, because it oh, would be you're, way... you're a paladin, aren't you? Yeah, it just no, it just says when oh, you hit yeah. with a melee weapon attack, you can expend a spell slot. Yeah, so it's not once a turn for I don't think. Okay. No, is, is, is Flurry of Blows considered a melee attack? It is. Oh, yeah, yeah it is, so. All okay. right, roll that my so, damage. Uh, plus, I'm a half orc, so I get extra, extra damage on that, too. Okay, so... <laughs> Uh, six for my <laughs> weapon, plus a d6, plus another d6 for half orc, plus four d8 for divine smite. Hey, this poor roper. Okay. <laughs> so figured out what they are 10, then, have you? That's twenty. Uh, yeah, I just did it. <laughs> four so. plus three. It's twenty-seven points of damage. Uh, all right. What? Tell me what it looks like. Oh yeah. So I'm just gonna like whack this thing across the head with uh, a few times, and then with the unarmed strike with the gauntlet on the left hand, just gonna punch into this thing's mouth, and just like rip it out from the inside, and just like pull it inside out. Oh, Amazing. Uh, yeah. Wow, dude. That was. I still have another attack. <laughs> stuff. I've got one flurry blows attack left on orange, uh, which I message. which I have advantage on this one as well. Okay, it's another natural twenty. <laughs> nice. Damn you, cracking dice! <laughs> Damn you! Hey, you brought us to the ocean, knowing we were all rolling with kraken dice. Okay. Uh, you know, you're right. You are absolutely right. I'm not gonna burn my last spell slot for this one, though. But, okay. Um, Does this still have the spite on it as well? Or that's no, only no, no, no. Yeah, that's on the other one. And okay. I rolled double ones for <laughs> for the damage on this one. Well, so it's max base. Yeah. So it's plus your adder. Plus Eight, the plus so eleven total, but I will burn the key point to try to stun this one. Uh, okay. Con save DC thirteen. Will a will an eleven do it? Nope. <laughs> You're trying to bargain. Uh, <laughs> damn it, man! Uh, all like right. Him. Triflin, 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 hasted, 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 hasted yeah. Triflin, hasted, Triflin. Uh, all right. Anything else, sir? That that was a, an amazing. No, uh, that's a hell of a turn. Okay, nope, that's it. I'm uh, good. And so, uh, <laughs> Orange is uh, stunned, so he can't do anything. But he must still make his wisdom save. Wisdom save. Twenty-one. That succeeds, so he'll take half of 11, so five damage. That's five. Uh, and that's all he can do. Read us. I will use Branding Smite on my crossbow, so I load an extra special bolt again, and I will shoot that guy with advantage. Because he's Orange. Oh, range. Yes, orange. Um, four, 10 plus six, 16. Uh, oh, no, that's sorry, your, that's it's, your it's 10 hit? plus 10, yeah, it's a 10 plus 10, so 20. Uh, that matches, so that's a roll off. Okay, so I got a, oh, a 20. <laughs> a natural 20. I got a natural 9. Oh, uh, right. okay. So that's a hit on me. Right. Only roll 20 damage, I roll please. is for a roll off or something like uh, You know okay. what? Getting that hit and the damage, man. That's what counts. Yep, sure. So my damage is d10 plus um, 6, so 8 plus 6 is 14 and then 2d6 for my branding smite which is eight so he takes 22 22. damage and i have another crossbow bolt to fire at him if need be well tell me 
Tell me what it looks hey. like. All right, okay. I will just uh, take a knee and stable my crossbow. I'll wait until Rial is um, doing some action, which gives me a clear line of sight. And I'll just lock eye contact with this one horrible roper eye and then pierce it with my branding smite, which sort of sets it on fire from the inside. Uh, and, and the smell is just like, if you thought- Delicious. Hashtag <laughs> reptilian aroma was something. Uh, Hashtag Pride Roper. Pride Roper <laughs> is, is is just something else. Riala, you are no longer grappled. Ritas, you are no longer grappled. Oh, good. Thank um, you. um, holy schnike balls, guys! That is amazing. And I also I'll use uh, Arcane Jolt to have Chunk uh, Chunk Clunk um, <laughs> grab me with his healing gauntlet and squeeze my wrist and just bump some of that healing magic he's got into me for 2d6. Wah, claw. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a little tight! It's a little tight! <laughs> he heals me for 11 damage, so not bad. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, Alright. So here's my problem, is I can't see around this big behemoth, really, <laughs> since she is so large. Um, She's thick. So I, can. So, uh, so I am gonna spend my... Uh, my tentacle attacks on her. Yeah. So these are these are grapples, grasping class tendrils. 13. Wait, what? She's armor class okay. thirteen. Okay. Don't worry, you've got one hundred and thirty-six hit points. Uh, <laughs> so that's a fourteen. So that's one Wait, grapple. My my armor class is fourteen. Yeah, but you're the Not as the T-Rex. You're, you're a Tyrannosaurus. Oh, but you also have T-Rex hit points. So yes. Yeah. So that's one grapple. Can you that is a huge two creature? grapples. It's a large creature, so it's only one size up. Yeah, true. Uh, 15? Yeah, yeah technically. I'm across 13. <laughs> uh, and 20. All right, so all four of its tendrils, or four of its six tendrils, uh, grapple you. It does not need to use real, even because you're right up on it, and so it will use bite against you. Uh... Uh, 18 to hit, which I think is going to be a hit. Yep, yeah. I'm plus 13. And... Jeez. I'm going to use my reaction. I can intercept a hit. Uh, if it hits, if an enemy hits a target that is within five feet of me, I can use my reaction to reduce the damage by 1d10 plus 4. So... Seven total. You take seven less damage from this attack. Okay, so then she'll take twenty points of damage. Yeah. Okay. This, this, you've, you've got one hundred and sixteen left. You're fine. Okay. <laughs> cool. Yeah, yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. You're doing all right. Um, uh, Roper realizes things are going in a bad situation, but can't really do anything. Riala. And the reason it can't do anything is because it has a move of ten. It has it has move ten, climb ten. So, okay. <laughs> uh, I don't know where I can if I can even move. We're kind of crowded up in hill. Um, yeah, it's mostly dead ropers. So yeah, can, can I move into the those... space where dead roper is? Can I stand on? Well, this? so the 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 roper is. I mean, it's still there. There's still rocky outcropping there. I'll say that you could do it as difficult terrain. Uh, if you roll a one, you might splash into the water, though. Oh, well, if you roll a one on your attack. Okay. Um, well, I have a ring of free action, so difficult terrain doesn't bother me. Jesus Christ! Of course you do. Uh, <laughs> cool. All right. <laughs> then, then yeah, I'll let you. I'll let you get up there and, and balance on, within all the flaming eye stink. Yeah. So I'm just gonna. I'd be get... like, oh, oh, be careful with the T Rex. Remember, uh, she's not all there in her head. I just want to get up close enough to get a uh, yellow roper into my spirit guardian, so I'm not trying to get like super Art. close. That's smart. Um, and then I will. I guess I'll. Can I? I can see yellow roper from where I am. Can I? Uh, yeah, yeah. We'll say that. There's that one it... part of the map that's still blacked out, so I'm just not sure. Oh, I'm sorry. I. For me, it's not. Okay. Um, it, it might just not have loaded well for me. That's fine. As long uh, as I can see him, I'm just going to throw um, a guiding bolt at him. Yeah, that's better. 
Uh, yeah, guiding yeah. bolt is is fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, we mark that off. Guiding bolt. Fourteen plus eight, twenty-two to hit. That hits. Okay, and that was just a first level. Twelve damage. Uh, my guiding bolt does not come out of my mouth, by the way. Oh. <laughs> 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 um, but he is uh, lit up in like glowing silver, so the next attack will have advantage on him. Amazing. Uh, anything else for, for you? All right, yeah. careless. Uh, I'm just trying to read. I swear that. When you polymorph someone, they take on the like mental abilities and stuff. Yeah, but yeah, they do like their intelligence level and all that. Yeah, yeah. like so they can't is... cast spells and things like that. So yeah, but I'm, obviously, I, I you know, Mina uh, would still know it's her, you know, herself. I'm assuming. So. Yeah, she yeah. knows. She knows it's her, and she knows that the party is the party. Yeah, uh, and she can use it. like bite attack and tail attack and stuff like that. But yeah, okay, I will fire two eldritch blasts at the one that's uh, grappling my okay. dear t-rex <clears throat> and i don't get advantage or anything on that uh i ro oh god i rolled a, th a three and a 17 so 17 will be 28 that hit. one's 14 that will not <clears throat> um there's no hex on this so uh, seven damage uh sorry 11 damage some of it's fire. Okay. And it gets moved back 10 feet. It um, can. it, it can't easily do that. No. Okay. Uh, it's kind of wedged into a spot of rock. Yeah. Uh, anything uh, else? Uh, that would be me done. I believe I don't think I could do much on a. Nope. No, I'm good. Um, all right, Mina. All you're, right. You're gonna do that that T Rex bite and that uh, bite. Yeah. There's nothing to really tail shake against anymore. But she, yeah, she can't tail shake anything unless no, she not, no, hit not one quite. of us. But plus ten to hit but. you get. Yes, I just looked at the thing. Yay, technology! Oh, you got it. Um, awesome. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. So, is yeah D twenty yeah thing. Yep. Stuff. D twenty plus ten. <laughs> I'll get this eventually. Oh, Don't, 17. Oh, I thought he was going to say crit. That was gonna be oh, no, no, no. Not, I mean, that just can't happen that many times in the game. Don't want to be. <laughs> Don't want to be like someone we know. Um, uh, 17 plus 10, 27. 27. Uh, that's absolutely a hit. Yay. That's and what's then, that bite damage? Bo bonus action. Could she have moved her hex? Still no, there. because I, that, I would say that oh, that is... Okay. That that's warlock stuff that she can't do at the moment. Yeah, yeah, true. So hit is forty twelve plus seven. Yep. And so twenty eight plus, plus seven is thirty five. Thirty five. Nice. Wow. Nice. Now. All right. Anything else for you? Yeah, I'm gonna bite again because I get to do it <laughs> twice, don't I? No, just the once. Yeah, no, just twice. once. Yeah. Why can't I just nibble on him a little bit? <laughs> you can, you can uh, all right, Cesar. Yeah, um, I'm gonna. How? Where? Where can I move? I, I would say if you move five feet it's south, you can, can like. Underneath. I've seen if movies. you move like five five foot Look, south, you can I, shoot under her legs. Let, let me tell you how much I want to run on top of the back of this T Rex. <laughs> oh my god, do it! I mean, if you want to try it, baby, try it. I, I, oh, I think just it's... <laughs> run up the back and just clock your head on the roof of the cave. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, don't roll, don't like roll a, a one. Eating, the cat needing your back, like yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, I will let you choose uh, acrobatics or athletics, whichever you prefer, and I'm don't roll a one. Go with athletics. Is this character built for speed as well? He's no, this character is. <laughs> he's a dex build. <laughs> That's a twenty-five. 
<laughs> All right. So, so what are you? Are you just trying to get up onto the back of her, or are you trying to get up her back and then kind of off into the cave? No, I want to stay on her back. <laughs> when it gets to the top, I can't. Yeah. When it gets to the top, I I cancel polymorph. <laughs> <laughs> not really. Not really. So then he's just like on top of my shoulders. <laughs> it's like, just like playing just chicken swinging. in the pool. <laughs> Face first into the water. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh, all right, so what you gonna do from up there? Yeah, I'm a piece of bullshit up here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> At least you're honest. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't even think that far. He's... <laughs> so when I get up here, um, I'm gonna cast uh, Shatter. Um, I wanna put it right behind uh, the Roper. Mm -hmm. And um, only, only Encompass Roper don't hit you or Mina? Yes. Okay. Uh, Constitution 16 saving throw. And I'm going to do this at a third level. Uh, will an 11 be to 16? It won't! Then that is not good for me. Um, so for like flavor text, I want to wait until like Mina roars and I want to cast it as soon as she roars so it's like a. <laughs> but it echoes behind it. All right, I'll buy that. Dino roller. Dino, insert Dino Roar here. Hmm. All right, so that's going to be 9, 12, 20 points of damage. 20? 20. 20. Oof. All right, it is, it is for sure not looking good, but, but it's still it's still kicking. Uh, what else, sir? Um, how, 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 like... <laughs> How thick is the neck on the T-Rex? <laughs> oh, it's like at least it's two, two or thick. three C's. In the real yeah. questions for the I'm, I'm just gonna like I'm gonna like sit. <laughs> sit okay, on, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I couldn't see what you were trying to do there, but yeah, if you just want to kind of sit down and be a, uh, she's a your mount, rider. then yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll buy that because that cause that sounds amazing. T Rex uh, jockey. Yeah. <laughs> any uh, any other any other stuff for you, sir? Uh, nope, that's it for me. Bertram. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna like Naruto run and like <laughs> dodge dodge between the T Rex's legs and end up on the other side if I can get there. Uh, you can't. What was that that just moved behind you? Oh, that was Cesar. Okay. Yeah, he's getting uh, climbing on top. Yeah. So, so you're you're certainly in the spot where the water has not been pushed back out to sea. Um, but but that's I will say that's totally fine to get there. Okay. I've got a ridiculous amount of movement speed right now. So. Yeah. Yeah. Are you still hasted? Yeah. 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 Ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> who who hit me with that? Redis. I'm just trying to. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. So yeah, let's just start wailing on this thing. Uh, I rolled with advantage when I wasn't supposed to, but I rolled a 16 and an 18. So we'll just go with whatever whatever the first one was. Okay. I rolled them simultaneously, but I have two attacks. So h however you want to play that, I can re-roll one of them, or just oh, call oh, it the two attacks. Oh, I, I see that. Then let's say that's the two attacks. Okay. So, so what does my thought to be? Uh, 25. No. Yeah, 25 and a 23. Okay, those both hit. Okay. Um, that's 16 total for those two. Okay. Uh, hasted attack is gonna miss. That's a nine. And uh, unarmed strike is a 23. That hits. Jeez. Keep rolling ones on damage. Uh, it's four points of damage. Uh, Okie dokie. Uh, man, this thing could not be closer to death. Uh, that's a shame. Oh, All right. Uh, anything else? No, that's me for now. Redis. Oh, boy. I'm going to get a kill. Redis is going to kill something. Okay. You got to you gotta hit it first. I'm going to hit that thing. I'm going <laughs> five, ten. Uh, can I hit it with a crossbow from here? Under the T-Rex legs? Yes, don't roll a one. Yes, I'll just go prone, and I'll sort of have my crossbow <laughs> poking out of the water, and I'm just going to try and get it right in the mouth. So uh, let's try that. 
Um, don't roll the one. Uh, I rolled an 18. Uh, 18 total will not hit, unfortunately. Oh my god, well, I've got another attack. So, ooh, that is a natural one. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh. <Damn. laughs> okay. so, if you roll a natural one, then you have just. I drowned. Plugged, I've never seen plugged, it again. You've plugged Mina in the undercarriage, unfortunately. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, roll Sorry, the damage. Like, roll uh, the damage, please. It tickled. I, I didn't mean to shoot a T Rex. Um, Oh god, it's good damage. That's gonna be um, fifteen. I will okay. use my reaction to reduce some of that damage. <laughs> uh, okay. This and a... I rolled a ten, so I reduced fourteen of it. <laughs> He's gonna play it like okay. Renus has never seen this spell before. He'll say, "The Ropers have defeated. Now let's take down this wizard T Rex." <laughs> <laughs> so that's only one point of damage, but it's still damage, and it was under care's damage. So Cesar, I'm gonna need you to make a deck save. To stay Ooh. on, we're gonna say a, we're gonna say a, wow. a fourteen to stay on. A fourteen, all right. Uh, I'm not doing much better out of this party. You can do <laughs> it. You can do it. You can do it. Ooh, nineteen. You <laughs> managed to stay on. Uh, you can tell that she is not happy though. <laughs> it's only one point wonder. of damage. I just like I just like look back and I'm like. Really. You know, it's, it's about the location, me. though. <laughs> it's just disrespectful. Uh, anything else, Rita? Uh, what other chaos can I cause? Um, <laughs> the, I'm gonna uh, get a kill, he says. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll move Clunk of here so that he can defeat me from the T-Rex if need be. <laughs> uh, all right. So this Roper is not stunned or anything, right? It still has its attacks. Correct. I did not Wisdom stun save. that one. Wisdom save. Uh, 19. Uh, that passes. So, um, let me see. 9 plus 8 is 17. So, 8 damage. Uh, okay. So, if you would <laughs> tell me what that looks like. <laughs> Death by Spirit Guardian. Yes. <laughs> Um, okay, so my spirit guardians, they look kind of, I described it earlier, they kind of look like a galaxy, right? It's like, um, you know, little flashes of stars and suns and moons and stuff like that. So they're just mm -hmm. going to like start swirling around this roper in like a galaxy-esque tornado that's just like sparking and popping and just like swirl them up. I love it. Yeah, he, uh, he is exited. But to go any further into the cave system, you are going to have to get careless to drop that polymorph. <laughs> yeah. Aw, <laughs> oh, man. Wait for no, me to wait. get down. Wait for me to get down. Wait for me to get down. <laughs> Keep the polymorph. I cast Enlarge Reduce. And I... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I'll be more like a Velociraptor. <laughs> I'm going to oh turn God. that into a small T Rex. Uh, oh, my God. Gone through, yeah. Uh, are you that's... really doing that? Yeah, the target that... size is halved. In all dimensions, its weight is reduced to one-eighth of normal. <laughs> the reduction decreases its size by one category. You do deal, I think, a little less damage. Yeah, uh, yeah, like 1d4, I think. Weapons oh. also shrink targets, then deal 1d4 less damage, but you still deal a lot of damage. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> We've so got it, a tiny T-Rex. Yes. It reduces to half, but there's not a creature at the one-half size, so it's either got to be a medium or a It'll large. It'll be large. Oh, well, if I can get it down to medium, I'll definitely do it medium. <laughs> can I go tiny? Is that possible? <laughs> uh, I don't think so. I, I, we're going we're gonna to say that you can get it to medium because that fits with what works in this cave. Um <laughs> Rex and <laughs> oh goodness uh guys around. that was amazing brilliant That's hilarious those those ropers are are difficult difficult creatures the one almost I'm, eat me in one hit i'm yeah. so pr yeah oh man i was i was really worried about that when i was rolling the dice so. yeah no and i should have i had a something i could have done and i totally missed it for that yeah oh, sure. i was about to put a fifth level fireball in the middle of them no, I can, <laughs> I can, like channel divinity, rebuke the violent, and when something within thirty feet of me deals damage, I can cause it to take that same amount of damage. Oh wow! That would oh have... yeah, that would have been good. That would have been fantastic. Yeah. It's okay, now you know. Had yeah, I remembered that, that's a thing I can do. Oh, now, now you know for later. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
All right. So do you guys want to uh, push into the cave How system a little bit? How's everybody looking quickly before I we move fine. in? I feel fine. I say. Yeah, well, say now that I'm a... Um, everybody else is good? Okay. Now that I'm a T-Rex, I have like 115 hit points. Left, yeah. So... <laughs> Okay. I I I'm will. I, How long does that polymorph last? Hour. Wow. Hour. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think uh, the I think the reduce only lasts a minute though. Oh no! Really? Ah! Yeah, oh yeah. man! Uh, Sorry. And large reduce. Let's take a look. Uh, concentration I, to a minute. Mm. Can I take a picture of the sending stone? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> dude, it's with the up, oh my with god! The take a selfie with model. the T-Rex. With the upgraded model, but not with the one you have. Oh. Okay, we need to get this T-Rex somewhere in a minute where it's not gonna blow up. <laughs> just, like we've got that... a minute to find a place in this cave where it's big enough. And you're gonna see like the happiest little T-Rex ever. Just be like, I'm skipping tiny. along. Yeah. Uh, I'm yeah. gonna give you, since we're we're starting to close in on time, I'm gonna give you some divine intervention to tell you there's no place in the cave that the T-Rex will be safe. Oh boy. Oh. Hmm. I'm afraid. It well, I guess we'll leave then. To, uh, we might as well leave with our team, uh, shall we? To get the mind picks out and expand <laughs> this cave. <laughs> Anybody have any stone shaping spells? <laughs> yeah, that's no. a good idea. <laughs> Do I'm gonna just stay out here for the rest of the hour, and I can just, you know, man roar. the exit. Just roar if anything <laughs> comes up. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's not, no, 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 no. We can't, we can't deal with this for an hour. I got eight minutes left on, oh. on, 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 <laughs> on the, the spell. Water. Yeah. It's about to flood in here pretty quickly. But so there's still t lots of water inside here because. Is there anything like these ropers? Should we do anything with them? Cut them up? Do any like? Do they eat people? Might they have goodies? Well, I don't know. Yeah, I mean they for sure were gonna eat y'all. So. Yes. I'll put my hand in one's mouth and pull out the first thing I grab. Yeah, when I rip that one inside <laughs> out, was there anything in there? Uh, make an investigation check. If you're if you're if you're gonna gonna gut a roper, everybody, whoever, the three who were doing that, make an investigation. Okay. Well, I, 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 I put on my goggles of my newt. C Rexes cannot make investigation. Oh checks. man, I have uh, teeth. While they're doing that, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna lay on hands, Redis, just to top off his hit points there. Thank you very 18. much. Okay. Eighteen. Okay. You're gonna find something for me in there, would you? They can which, make which investigations. One? They just got a minus four on top of their roll. <laughs> it was just, their hands are just so small though they're like, ah, I can't reach it uh, which one were you searching uh, Riella probably the one I'm standing on top of so orange and who got the kill on that one I don't remember. Uh, it was me because I hit it in the eye with my crossbow. Ah, yes, That's you fine. you can you can recover the the charred remains of his crossbow bolt oh thank you you go read this. Thank you. I mean, he actually would probably love that. So yeah, I'll put that back in clunk with his miniature armory inside him. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> uh, any other investigations? I'll go for it. Um, I've already Which bothered. One? They like this one here. Uh, I don't know why I'm saying. They got a roll seven. So even uh, with my goggles of minute seeing, that give me advantage on investigation. So. Mm, no, you uh, you you find a bunch of bunch of tongue and teeth. Ooh, I'll key those. Don't like that. Yeah, for sure. We'll, we'll, we'll say that you can find that you can manage to get like ten kind of razor sharp rock like teeth out of it. Uh, can I put them on Clunk as a smile? The, <laughs> yes, but not at the moment. You will be able to, but not at the moment. All Wish right. for sovereign glue so you can glue little teeth <laughs> yeah. into Clunk. <laughs> and fit Clunk right. five with a bite attack. I think. I uh, I reluctantly <laughs> drop the polymorph spell. Okay. Good. Now that we're back into the realm of normalcy. <laughs> normalcy. Uh, all right, party people. Are we gonna push in? Are we gonna. Mina, how how are you feeling now? Actual Mina. Oh, Not so um. Ah, no me no more Minasaurus Rex. Um, are you okay? Do you need do you need some healing? Or are you all right to proceed? Um, well, I could I could use some healing. I I had a uh, twenty five damage. Oh, here, allow me. I will cast a cure wounds. Let me see. You took 25 damage. I give you... I'm just going to go first level because we're going to fight the wizard, so... Correct. That gives you 5 plus 7 is 12 hit points back. 
thank you. Remember, we can always rest. Take ten minutes. You say that after I use the spell. True. <laughs> this way looks like a dead end. Uh, that that is true. So so who has dark vision and or light mm. sources in here? I've got dark. I have Both. dark vision. Do I have dark vision? I have a torch. I have dark vision and I can cast light if we need it. I also got How much dark vision do you have? I... 60, 60 feet? 60, yeah. Yes. I'm I have devil I do sight. need light. Where does it say if you have dark vision? Under racial traits. You ah. will have one as an Eladrin, I believe. Yeah, Where it do. says uh, your passive wisdom and stuff like that, it says it there. Oh yeah, under there. I do not, so um, I will light a torch for me. I can see magical darkness as well. I don't even have a torch. Could you cast light on Clunk, please? Sure, Gina? yeah. Oh. Great. Are you telling me a T-Rex could not fit in that cavern? Come on. <laughs> I suppose it might sink, of course. <laughs> it's like the biggest cavern ever. There are people dancing on the shore. The narrator lied to us. Are they dancing, though, or are they dead? <laughs> they look like they're dancing. So I, I will say that this is just like it is outside. So the light blue area, you're kind of about waist deep. And then it, it's deeper in the, the dark blue area. It's probably, you know, kind of eight or ten feet-ish deep. Um, so be mindful if you are wearing heavy armor. More than enough. Or are a bit. steel golem. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to <laughs> jump in and see how deep he goes. But I won't do that yet. Unless necessary. Are you still holding back water, Cesar? Uh... Uh, if if we get in if we get in for far enough that like um that that um that it were you know like where like the water line is for like where I pulled the water back if we're past that line then I'm gonna let the um the water come back in. Then uh, you are, but I mean it's all kind of connected. So when it, it when you let it in, it's going to surge in here a little bit. But Boy. I'm then I'll hold it for a little while longer to, as we get okay. deeper in. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Uh, all right, you guys have see? uh, squeeze in here. What do we see? Uh, well, you ah, yikes, you see a cavern, cavern, a cavern. Uh, cavern. cavern, the uh, there's a bunch of frolicking people inside. The they unfortunately <laughs> they are not frolicking. Uh, this cave has a, a 12 foot high ceiling and rough natural walls that are slick with moisture and algae. Uh, the clear algae. water, algae. clear water that flows into the cave is about waist deep in the blue part, dropping off to about ten feet in the center of the pools. A nook in the northeast corner contains what looks like two corpses, um, oh. and there's a, a large opening at the southeast, a large-ish opening at the southeast corner. I'm a bit. Sick I want to start so moving to toward. <laughs> you gonna fly around? Yeah, I turned into a genie. Whoa. Okay. That's new. Well, no, he did it, he, Wait, didn't he, he did it against he, the bandit? He, he, he also, did he did week. it like last week <laughs> against those other guys that we fought, you know. Reedus is still amazed, but it doesn't yeah. matter how new it is. Yeah. yeah. Never it's, it's, just, it's just for flavor I can fly, but I, for flavor, obviously, his bottom half turns into the, the wisp of a genie. Uh. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to laugh. It's just a funny image. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm heading toward these corpses okay. over here. I'm gonna go with you. Okay. Uh, yeah. So they, they for show sure are dead. Um, they, they look like to. Uh, I was asked uh, Carolus if he was swimming, but then I realized he was flying. Um, they, they seem to be uh, two half elves and. Maybe they were siblings. Um, you guys can do a, a, a medicine check. Uh, That's to, what I was hoping to try for. to learn more. Oh, I yeah. Ac so accidentally rolled it in D and D Beyond, but that's fine. that's all right. So with it, you rolled a thirteen, uh, yeah. which beats the DC. Um, yeah, it, it looks like they they died in their sleep from drowning. Um, they definitely have battle wounds on them, so maybe they had been in a fight and kind of ducked in here to um to try to rest and recover and fell asleep 
and the tide came in and expired to them. Aww. They um they they seem to have been completely preserved by the salt water. I mean, it, it's almost as though they are half elf pickles, um, <laughs> so that the corpses are very still kind of together and just fully salted out. Uh, it's hard to really tell how long they've been here. What does their gear look like? Do they look like they're like adventurers? Like they've got weapons and stuff? Yeah, or... they they look like they're they're kind of low grade adventurers. Um, as for what their gear actually looks like now, it's it is in really bad shape. Yeah, they're, I meant more like they're... what their profession, you know. Sure, like, but but this, this may this may give you a clue as to how long they've been there. The the swords are completely rusted with with far more than just surface rust. There's actually some pitting rust. The the leather armor. Uh, is c completely spoiled, even though it is kind of hardened. It, it seems very brittle from the the, the salt water. Um, uh, so, th so they've probably been here for for a bit of time. But um, if you uh, does anyone want to do an investigation to see if they can learn anything more? Uh, I can try, or I can assist Riala. Investigation is not my strong suit. It's the... not mine really either, but... Stand aside. <laughs> I'll push oh them both aside. Darling. I'll just, like, flip one over and, like, open its eyes. Who are you? Talk. I... <laughs> <say that>. uh, <laughs> oh, took a dark turn here tonight, I guess. I, can, I mean, just seriously, though, read this. If you want to talk to them, I can make that happen. I mean... Uh, would I'll, save me time from trying to read what might glisten from their faces. Um, a little, show a little respect, also, Redis. Just go flipping them around like that. Yeah, uh, the, open that and, I'll, and also, I, 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 I was kind of thinking, do you want to loot them when I said investigation? <laughs> but, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, you guys. I mean, I I'll push Ryan off one more week, and we can go down this hole. <laughs> I've got. Goggles of minute seeing, so I have advantage on investigation checks. So he'll right. pull down his monocle on his good eye, not his ersatz eye, and he will roll a 11 and a 24. Ooh. So uh, you, it, it, they have rations and things like that that obviously have, have spoiled, uh, mm -hmm. but you do find what still seem to be intact. Two potions of healing and 37... Okay gold pieces right mm. i will hold them up to the party and i'll say healing potions for what good it did them well they were asleep <laughs> that's true uh, you cannot even as a bonus action in my game which is generous you cannot drink one while you're asleep perhaps they were put to sleep magically by a stinky wizard yeah why would uh, they <laughs> choose to sleep here sounds exactly like what a wizard would I, do. i'm serious though if you guys want to we can we can talk to one of them <laughs> i can do that we could ask them a few questions if ask them something ask them something it, i mean <laughs> it sounds useful to know yes. maybe a little bit of what they saw we just will I... shake them by the lapels <laughs> Talk, that's not how it works that's not how it works darling well, um i can ask them five questions so if we want to think about what we want to ask them before i cast this spell so we know what we're doing um, why were they sleeping i'm gonna make my way over to that side of the cave because i want to be in this conversation <laughs> I'm gonna, do you have a range I'm do you have a range over. you have to make you have to range you have to maintain to keep the water pulled back um i'm not sure because it just said the hundred foot cube yeah, I mean, if it's just concentration, then there's technically no range to it. So yeah, it's just concentration. So okay. And how much time is left on that? Maybe five minutes. Yeah, I would say about five minutes. That's gonna be good. Also, I want to do. Second. What? That good. Okay, so I want to do something for when I let the water come back in. Um, when we're done with 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 them, I want to like let the bodies go out to the water and let Calypso take them mm. as a as a burial. Okay. Uh, okay, what do you want to ask about these these ones? Are these, are yes, are these yes nos? Are the are? Uh, no, they can speak to us. They can speak. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, can I ask the corpse up to five questions. The corpse knows only what it knew in life, including the languages it knew. Answers are usually brief, cryptic, or repetitive, and the corpse is under no compulsion to offer a truthful answer if you are hostile, or it recognizes you as an enemy. Okay. Are you gonna do it to both of them or just one? Uh, just one. Okay. 
Uh, what do we want to ask, though? Uh, what they were looking for? How did they die? Oh, well, I think we kind of know how they died. With the ropers? Ropers or the wizard? What? Oh, what they were looking for? Or why they were here? What do you think of the golem? <laughs> yeah. No, read this. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, perhaps if they've seen a stinking wizard around here. Mm-hmm. Okay, so... How, how about, if... why were you here? <laughs> that might tell us something. Um... What else? Why were you here? What were you looking for? Yeah. And have you seen the wizard? Yeah. Why did... Why didn't they camp in a better spot? Why? Yeah, why did you choose here to slumber? Yeah. Doesn't that include in the why are you here? Yes. Yeah, well, and, the, and, and the asking what they were looking for is assuming they were looking for something they may not have been. They may answer that question in why they were here mm. as well. Um, why did you stop here? Um, do you know... What, what is the wizard's name? Zikram? Zidr, Zikram. Zikram. Yeah. I'm hovering so over maybe... this deep bit of water and just looking down. Let's see how far, how far I can deep, assuming this is quite still with Rodney sort of like uh, holding back yeah, the leaves. Yeah, uh, other than everyone kind of moving the water, it, uh, it, it just like outside, it's it's very clear and, and, and pretty. And, and it, it looks like it goes down about 10 feet. But you you don't see any uh, fish or monsters or anything like that trapped in it. No treasure. No treasure, unfortunately. Okay, Ask them so right. if they're twins. You, you guys sure got some. Uh, no, read this. No, that's. You guys got some questions. What's their name? Why were they here? What are they looking for? Why did they stop in this place? Um, that's all the questions I have so far. I can ask two more. What are their names? them if they have any messages for any loved ones that we can pass on oh that's good maybe someone's waiting for closure from these two poor wretches maybe we start with that one so then that will put us on their good side and then they'll talk to us yes good idea um and then should we ask them anything about zikram if they know him or if they answer yes to the wizard question, then yes. What was the wizard question? Do you, have you seen the wizard? Do you have know you of the, the wizard? Have you seen or the wizard? Or do you know of, yeah. Or yeah, do, do, you know? do you know of, I think would be a better one. Do you know of the wizard? Is that the Muffin Man? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know the Muffin Man. <laughs> okay. Oh, you guys are going to be so pissed when I let you cast the spell and then end the stream for the night. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to do that because I don't want to give you a week to come up with five better questions. <laughs> give us a whole week to <laughs> think about it. Okay, so I'll... Uh, um, all right, so you're going to cast... Speak is it with Dead. Speak with Dead, okay. I cast Counter Spill. <laughs> <laughs> Bertie, are, you okay? are you okay with this, Bertie? I, yeah, that's well, fine. I, okay, just making sure. And as long as, I mean... As long as I didn't kill him. And I mean, just be respectful. Rita's oh, was a Rita's was a bit like rude, he gets excited. But, uh, he you does. know, you know. Rita's was very Rita's. Okay, uh, speak with it. Okay, so you you uh, you encant the the words for this, and one of the bodies begins to just gently stir a little bit, and the the leathery. Um, tanned eyelids draw back as best they can but you can see that the the, the sockets the, the eyes in the sockets are just com completely milky white um and the mouth drops open a little and there's just kind of a faint <sighs> sound <clears throat> do you have any message you would like us to deliver to a loved one? Our mother 
this in water deep. Where, where, where's, where's Bria? I don't know where Bria is. Why, why were you here? We had been attacked by, by Wyvern. Trying to find a place to hold up until they left. Bria. Um, okay. Do you know anything of the wizard? In this cave? No, it's... No, where's Bria? Who is Bria? Bria is my sister. Um, they kind of answered my other questions, guys. Um, she, she's safe. She made it back to Waterdeep. No, uh, <laughs> no, bad about the back of his head. As soon as he opens his mouth, absolutely not. No, no, no. She's okay. No, nope, <laughs> nope, nope, no, no. no. <laughs> I mean, I don't. I don't think we're not really communicating with them. It's just kind of their bodies. I don't know. Lying to them won't do them any good at this point. You don't lie to the dead still. Very well. She's lying beside you. No harm can come to her now. Read this. I don't think they can talk to you. I think it's just me. Oh, but right. I'm that was, to... you know, nice try though. <laughs> uh, one more question. They're going to be gone pretty soon. Um, we didn't ask what were you looking for, did we? No, because they said that they were hiding from the wyverns. So I, I mean, I guess I can still ask that. Okay. Um, or why were they sleeping? Like, do we know exactly how they ended up well, to be sleeping how, how, here? Yeah. Well, they said they were hauled up because of the wyverns, right? Yes. Yeah, but why would they sleep here is the thing. Well, you you found asleep. you found battle uh, like like cuts and 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 active kind of battle wounds on them. So Yeah. It could have just been exhaustion. Could have, just could have been... they could have been in when the tide was out. It's true. Mm -hmm. Ask them what's deeper in the cave. Maybe they've maybe they went further than us. Any dangers, perhaps? What? What is further into the cave? We didn't go any further than this, Bria. <gasps> and the corpse once again goes still. The leathery eyelids kind of crack back down over the the milky eyes. Are these bodies both male? Uh, no, they're actually both female. Oh, they're both female. Okay. Well, at least now I feel a darn sight better about killing those wyverns. True. Who knows how many they've caused the deaths of. Well, stupid creatures trying to eat <laughs> Cesar, did you want to uh, to send them out? Yeah, I do. I would send them out with the water. Let Calypso take them. Uh, okay, so you'll you'll release the um, the hundred foot cube holdback thing. Yeah. All right. So the uh, you'll probably have to assist them into the active water because they're they're kind of. They're up on the sides where now where the the tides don't uh, really mess with them. So yeah, I figured can... I would I would have to like move them further towards like the um, the mouth of the cave once the water yeah. comes in. Yeah, so we'll we'll release and the water will surge back in. But but since there's water in here, and it it, it doesn't kind of just like hammer you guys. You you can keep your footing and you uh, if you want to just let me know and you can move the corpses into the water and allow them to float out to sea. 
Uh, yeah, I'll tell everybody to, to, to brace on something, so they'll be ready when the, the water starts coming in. Okay. Yep. So the the the, the water surges in, and every, everyone, since you're braced and you're ready for it, you're you're unaffected. And Carolus completely is unaffected because he's floating. I'm just hovering. Yeah. <laughs> um. And then you'll you'll put them into the into the water and let them kind of float float on. You, you, I, yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Um, you seem like well, maybe you're thinking against it now. No, well, not that. I want. I think I want to try and do like a. Um, I gotta see what that what it's called. Um. Not a mirror, that's uh, Make sure that you're entered in the giveaway because we're we're pretty close to the end here. So it, it won't be long now. Uh, exclamation mark giveaway to make sure you're entered. And then we're going to draw for that second set of Kraken dice here just in a couple of minutes. I want to do a divine intervention. Okay. So that, that, way, that way I'm not just, you know, putting just two bodies out into the water. Um, if, it, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But I, I think like the act of trying to to, to, to uh, bring div uh, divine intervention into this, you know, okay. makes it feel better. Sure, sure. Tell me what you're thinking. Um, uh Base like put it putting the, the the bodies in the water, placing my trident like in front of me, um, and just asking Calypso to like take the waves and take the, these two um, in their arms into the, into the ocean. Okay, and you spend a, a divine a divine intervention on that. Yeah, she. The um... go ahead and roll. Yeah. So it's got to be a ten or lower. Uh, that's an 87. So uh, what I will say is that it, it's it's not as successful as you had hoped, but j just the 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 release of the water back in, you know, it it kind of would surge in, and it is it is naturally pulling out. So while you feel like maybe you didn't quite make the connection, there still is nature that. Uh, that you feel like maybe you reached out to that is that is going to do some of the job for you. Yeah, yeah. And they will uh, very respectfully. Um, we'll let them float on out, and you just kind of watch them bobble around out there. Oh, uh, Riala, did you uh, tell us the information that you got? Like, yeah, could... you could hear him. Okay, okay. Um, and before we go further into the cave, I want to use the sending stone to call back to can the, the candle keep. Okay. So what, what we'll do, is we're gonna we'll do that, and then I think we'll end the stream for tonight, um, and then we'll pick back up right here next week, if that's all right with everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. All right. What would you like to? Uh, to send to Master Sage Tomras. Uh, send word to Waterdeep. Uh, lost traveler Bria. Sister found. Dead. <laughs> just, just, just found well, dead. I, Let's not I, get that like, hopes up. I, I don't have. I don't like. How, how many words is it? Twenty-five. Oh, then yeah, 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 yeah. Um, uh, Lost Traveler, That's Bria, something. and Sister found uh, dead in cave. Tell Mother. In Waterdeep, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. He said that. Okay. It, um, it, it takes just, it takes just a, a couple of moments longer than it normally takes her to respond to you. And she says, oh, uh, oh my. Uh, yes, of course. Very well. I will. I will send someone and and see if they can see if they can notify someone. And that I think is where we're gonna end tonight, everyone. Good job. Oh, that dun, that dun, roper dun. that roper fight was amazing, guys. Amazing. You guys did. Yeah, it, it was. I I was worried for you, Rita's. I absolutely was. Um, I that haste, that haste let was him pretty die. clutch, though. I had you. <laughs> 
There's a lot of healing in this fight, so I feel like I could have yeah. gone down four or five times. So, well, with- and I would, I'd say the great thing is, is you guys didn't like burn off a bunch of resources for this impending wizard fight, so you should be fine. I burnt more spell slots than I would have liked. Same. But, <laughs> uh, but I still got some some stuff up my sleeve, so. Yeah. It's okay, get full here. We got plenty of stuff. I'll oh. just toll the dead for, you know, 10 rounds. It'll Dude, toll the dead is a great, great cantrip. <laughs> 